like I said, the first scene was so intense, and I was like, yes, I like, I like when shows just pick up. Like I'm watching Parasite for the first time. That yes. first episode, I was like, oh my gosh, this just gets you. Death Note is another one, right? Guy in high school, notebook drops out. Guy has a heart attack on TV. So well done. Demon Slayer. Guy's in the woods. He's a pretty lame guy, but his whole family is brutally murdered. And then he has to fight a guy with just his axe. Pretty entertaining. Hey, man, there's this finger that they're wrapping. And if they unwrap it, they're going <laughs> to die. Which, by the way, like the little details stick out to me in Shonen. So, for example, when he's like, I got to go save my friends. And this guy's like, your friends are probably dead. It would have hit way harder if those if they were dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inst- instead, they show that one guy and he's got that eel thing on his face, just like gnawing at his brain. And I'm like, that guy's gone for sure. And they're like, oh, yeah, he's fine, guys. <laughs> we just put some icy hot on that. He's good. <laughs> And welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week one of the fall 2020 season. On this show, we're discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm, gonna be, I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, all. Next up, we have Ku. Uh, hello. And finally, we have Taylor. Hello. All right, and also, uh, Sasha will be joining us here shortly um, afterwards. Uh, just some anime news I'm going to get through this week. I mean... Uh, I guess I'll, this is for Stratton, so rip for I'm lost, man. I'm lost. Rip horrible <laughs> subs. I, I guess, like, oh. yeah, their site's down because of COVID. So I guess they're doing this all volunteer, and then, like, they're whatever. They have no more time or money for it, so rip horrible subs. Sub times. Even though everyone, 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 everyone already has their favorite fan subs anyway, so not like it really matters. They were, they were still good, but there were still they're a lot of other, like, subs that were, but, like, yeah, they were very convenient. There was a lot of subs that were way better, though. It's like yeah. when, like, when, like kiss anime shut down like people will still get it so all right somebody will somebody will come uh we'll, we'll they'll, they'll catch that uh, yeah. we'll take their slack yeah so that's for stratton and then um n- big one next one is my hero academia season five was announced so spring 2021 Ooh, oh, so right. yeah. as expected i didn't actually see the visual but i mean it's expected we're gonna go straight straight into the um the, the nomu arc like the super nomus after Yes. yes the, uh, the the visual is actually pretty cool because it was showing a lot of characters we haven't seen for a while. So I'm I'm, I'm pretty excited to see them again. Uh, like like from the, like the first like tournament, and I, I we'll just say tournament arc, I guess the one that Bakugo won, that guy that had oh, like yeah, a, I, think it was like I know the the fall festival. Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a uh, it was a guy that basically like where you, you just like talk to the guy and the guy just like you know controls you. Like uh, he's on the cover. He actually seems like he's probably a big one. Okay. So that's gonna be really cool. But so I'm excited. Even though, even if the last season was kind of bad, <laughs> so well, I'm just I'm more excited because it's 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 going back to try and true back with the uh, League of Villains. So it's usually that's usually been pretty good with um, God, I forgot the villain's name now, but with the uh, him as the main villain. So Homura, Homura, yes, yes, that's his name. So yeah, I'm excited. So spring 2021, they'll hopefully be a good season, and then um, the big one here for Johan. He's not here in chat. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Eva, Even Galleon Blu-ray finally announced. So first time Even Galleon's gonna be on on Blu-ray in HD because I think I don't think it's been in HD before. So I'm just in this. Seriously, this is the first time. It's been on DVD. Yeah. I don't think it's been on Blu-ray. Yeah, this is the first time on Blu-ray. Yes, in in, in North America at least. I don't know about Japan, but sure. North. It's... It is pretty old too. So yeah. so twenty fifth twenty twenty fifth uh, anniversary. Um. Yeah. So, so old already. I'll... I'll probably I'll probably get the the Blu-ray just because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be hard to get. So, just, really, you're gonna get that? Yeah, it's just gonna be. I imagine it's gonna be hard to get. So, all right, man. All right. And that's like the big that's like the big uh, news basically for for this week. And then um, we're gonna just uh, go to ReZero. Uh, just just get everyone caught up and just give our thoughts for. Actually, wait, no, no, this no this this last week was episode that aired. I, I, I'm mad. That was a seasonal finale. We need to talk about that. Okay. So, yep. and we get to wait. All means, sir. Yes. You may start. <laughs> um. So, I don't know. Like, I thought it was very. I thought it was interesting the way that um, that Satelia was the the way they portrayed Satelia, as um, like, because we kept thinking she was again. She was like one of the evil witches. 
but like again they're showing more of her sides and the, the message they're telling is interesting how like usually in shonen shows like it's always about sacrificing yourself to like save everyone else and this time um they're basically telling they're telling the character i guess in the audience too that like you need to love yourself more and like stop like taking everything on yourself so i thought that was an interesting like twist on that on the usual shonen trope how like you know all the anime fans they always say you know stop being a bitch and you gotta like be stronger or whatever and here the message is saying well you can't stop like you can't stop being too hard on yourself you start loving yourself more so i thought that was interesting <sighs> so I was telling Stratton this, but I think they're finally going to use the power of friendship and love. <laughs> uh, because I feel like that's what they're going to at this point, right? I mean, he has no powers, he, I mean, other than the return by death, mm -hmm. but that's all he has. And no matter what he tries, it seems like at this point, he just can't do anything by himself. So they're going to have him rely on that. Although, yeah, I find it really weird that... Um, was it Otto? Like, was the one that had to like, yeah, hit, like hit some sense into the guy. I mean, being the bro, like he, like he's been this season, yeah. Right, right. But it's it, it would have been more impactful, I think, if it came from someone else that that was like important, right? Like yeah. Ram or Garfield or something. Um, but yeah, no, it just it just came out of the blue, and uh, I just I guess, I'm not yeah. satisfied with the way it the ended this I part guess, one. Yeah, it's like no. the way. I think it was, it probably, you could try to tell it was like meant to be, um, like not split like it is now. So yeah, that was not a good way to end. So. And also. It wasn't even a good way to end an episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for real. Part of the first arc. Like, yeah. That's, oh, like, that's how you, pretty weak. That's how you could tell, um, that, uh, that it wasn't meant to be split like this. So. Um, yeah, I thought yeah. Satella was kind of interesting, like. One thing that kind of confused me, I mean, I watched all of ReZero basically in a day, so maybe I got some time. <laughs> so you didn't have to suffer like here. me and Koo did. <laughs> um, I mean, I practically watched everything in one week. Or yeah, one week. Uh, he basically yeah. did too. But, um, like, I thought it was interesting that she, in one of the timelines, she came and, like, shadowed everybody and maybe killed them. I'm not really sure. And then now we're seeing her, and she seems, you know, all things considered, pretty chill and nice. <laughs> like, I don't really understand why that happened with that alternate universe. That seemed really random to me that she'd just shown up. I was super confused at the time. So if any of you guys have insight. I don't know. It just guesses. Like, yeah. I have no idea what's going on to tell you, because, like, everything I've known about, just thought about, just is thrown out this season. Well, the only thing I can think about is the fact that uh, all the witches are, are fairly neutral. Of course, they have their, their bad side, but they all have their good side as well. And I think with the inclusion of Satella with this and her showcasing her lovey-dovey side for Subaru in a non-psychotic sort of way, uh, I think that just proves to me that everyone here is kind of neutral. But since there are witches, they need to go after their agenda, like their their sin, per se. So, like thing that, that really confused me a lot tell you is just how much she looks like Amelia how it's like like at, like you can see in this episode like just you can see her face so it looks just like Amelia mm -hmm. same voice and, and her voice and, yeah. and it's like and, and so she she gave Subaru the power so she had to know him before but it sounds like like I I gotta believe the theory that like she's like a future version of Amelia or something I don't know mm -hmm. because like it's so very weird how she knew she knows yeah she, she knows Subaru before and she looks so much like Amelia so like that's the only thing I can think of was just like she's like a future version of yeah of what, future um, version or like what she becomes yeah blood related like related some even, even though somehow she's from like from 400 years ago too so just some yeah. weird time stuff happening well, still remember the first... they can find a way <laughs> well, still remember the first episode of like of ReZero where uh when Subaru first met Amelia and you know she she said her name was Satella yeah, and I, then uh, ever ever since then it's been Amelia. Yeah, after the I just the, didn't think much about it because right like I just assumed she was trying to throw him off because everyone already knows to tell you. So mm. one thing that yeah. I do keep going to back to that moment about though is I think it's weird that that's the name that she gave because she's basic. I mean, basically that name triggers her, right? I mean, she's lived her whole life being mm. um, judged and treated poorly because she looks so much like the witch. Why would she give somebody that name? Like, 
for any reason. Uh, Just know. throwing somebody off is like, it seems like not a strong enough reason. So, I mean, I do think that it's maybe worth something that it happened. But I also don't think that, like, Amelia, as we know her now, like, is Satella. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. It, it sounds like know. she becomes, I'm thinking she becomes later Satella. Yeah. But it's so weird. Um, um, how is that very. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, no, also, I just want to mention Roswell. Dude, fuck this clown, man. This what? clown. I love him. <laughs> oh my god. He's basically like, he just fucked over everyone in the show because of his stupid <laughs> book. And his following of Kedna or whatever, like, he just sort of run over. Is he a good guy? Or... I think he's what you would call morally ambiguous or like chaotic. He has his own deal to do. <laughs> yeah. Did he ever mention which faction he's with? Like, yeah. which goddess? It was Echidna. Or... I mean, it was probably implied that it was Echidna. Echidna? Because okay. I, don't, I don't know if it's like explicit, but like, he has the same book as Beatrice, and Beatrice. Was following a kidna, so I'm assuming well, he specifically mentioned a kidna. Yeah, he mentioned a kidna too. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this and like this, okay. the village is his technically his sanction or like his part of his domain, and mm -hmm. like they're followers of kidna too. So it's just like very implied that like, um, that like yeah, he's a follower of uh, a kidna. Okay, so, uh, I guess that makes more sense. Yeah, I, I like him. I like morally ambiguous characters. And that's, I mean, I'm really split on all of the witches. Um, Echidna was definitely my favorite. I mean, I think that she was, weirdly enough, like the most normal one. And definitely the most charismatic one. Even after that episode she had? Yeah. You say oh, that? Yeah, Man, I think she's like the sketchiest of all of them. Well, she's, super, she's super sketchy, but just in terms of how she acts and speaks and her behavior. Like, she just seems the most, I'm not saying she's like morally normal. I'm just saying the way that she behaves is more normal, and she, I still find her charismatic as hell. Um, I like, the, like the other, the other <laughs> witches to me seem like caricatures, and I'm not really loving that. Like especially the one that's like laying down on the grass Sloth. all the time. That looks super hideously uncomfortable for the situation she's in. Like she's trying so hard to look casual that it looks like she's trying too hard. Or, no, like, no, the, no. The creepy the... girl in the coffin, like that's so extra. And then, like, I don't know, the one, that's... the one that's Wrath, she kind of reminds me of that girl from Recreators, whose name I already forgot again. See, if you guys saw that one, Slesia. Yeah, Slesia. She kind of reminds me of her, so mm. I have some positive feelings. But they all just, they're all just like, like I said, they're like caricatures, and I don't love that about them. Um, I'm hoping they'll get enough characterization so that I grow to like them, like I like to kidnap. But I don't know. Yeah, because we'll they all they all pop in randomly during the season. Like mm -hmm. it was very much like focused on Nikedna, and then they just all suddenly jumped in. And so I'm still very confused on their motives. Like why? What what is their motive for all these actions? Why are they like so split on what Subaru wants to do? Mm -hmm. so. uh, the only thing I could think of is the fact that he's not showcasing any sin. So they want to kind of convince them to go all on their side in the sense to follow the. The path of greed or sloth or greed, uh, you know, wrath, uh, things of that nature. What and is the fact that he's. Path? Hmm? What is sloth's path? Path? No, like just just um, acting out with that behavior, right? Maybe it's oh, sort of. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Like rather than just uh, like constantly try to solve things, he can just let things be as they are and live his life. Like mm. normally. I don't know if they really uh, think, have like a path. I think that would be considered lost. I think it's just more like their nature. I don't know if they have like a path that they're trying to follow. Yeah. Right, but since Subu is considered like a normal guy, right? He's he's very moderate in, in all uh categories in a sense, but he has the option to return by death. So that makes him like more interesting than, than other people, I guess. Because I'm sure there's other people in the world that's very like moderate and neutral as well. But they're not as special as Subaru in this case. So since Greed has showed interest in Subaru, and then he's doing all of these things, I'm sure that's drawing the attention of all the other witches too, right? Because mm -hmm. I can't imagine there be anyone else that's come into contact with a witch and constantly made uh, communication with them. So that that did, that could be a thing. Did they say they were all watching him as he was going through his his? Uh, return by death, right? Or was it just a kidna? I don't actually know. I mean, I know they all know about it, but yeah, I don't. Actually I think know. a kidna is the only one that said it explicitly. 
but I don't think the others I've mentioned that they have seen it or know of it. But I would imagine that they would. I don't know. Is, I, is any? Sorry, go ahead. I was say I don't know. If, I don't know if I can assume that. Yeah, I like we can count kind of for sure, but I don't know if we can assume the other witches can see the other timelines. Hmm. It'll just be interesting to see like where the plot goes like moving forward. There's just been such a heavy focus on Echidna. I mean, for obvious reasons, because like you said, like the sanctuary is in R- Rose. Well, I can never get his name right, but I the, Roswell. Call him Roswell. Roswell. Yeah, I always want to call him Rosenbull, like from like from like Full Metal Alchemist or something like that. How the, that's like the name of the town they're from. I don't know why. Yeah, we go with that. But anyways, <laughs> but this is the season finale, um, and like yeah, we basically got nothing done this season. I yeah, actually I shouldn't say season finale because like I, it wasn't meant to be split up. So the first half, right, right. Part, the first half of this one. broadcast order, we basically got nothing done. I just don't see how they're gonna finish like like all the 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 situations that that have appeared for them so far, like how they're gonna solve everything. Because you still got the selections going on. We got to figure out the trials uh, with Amelia. Uh, we have to figure out how to save Rem. We got to figure out how to save the people at the mansion. Yep. Uh, I don't think yeah. they're going to save Rem this season. You mean, are you talking about like next season? Or next, or yeah, the, part the, two? the next half, I guess? Part two. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to get save Rem then. If they do, it's not going to be until like the, like a, yeah. like a bunny gonna, until the very, very end. I'm guessing it's just like the, the, the sanctuary, just getting. Maybe the sanctuary is like, like the first go. Yeah, I can't see them saving Ren. Sorry, Koo. Hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's fine. She's she's best girl, so it doesn't new matter. ones have shined, so it's fine. <sighs> there was a um. What was I saying? This was like the weakest, like not even really a cliffhanger. It just kind of ended at just a terrible spot. I thought. No. Yeah. I don't know. If, yeah. It's just. See- Speaking, of, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, I had nothing else. Go ahead. Um, speaking of Rem, though, did anybody else have a reaction? Like, I thought it was really interesting that Lust kept on talking about how, like, she basically saw this love in his heart. Like, she, I can't remember the words she used, but it seemed like she was really emphasizing that, like, that was the important love to him, and that's why she was materializing Rem. Not that I care at all. It's not my thing to care about, but I thought it was kind of interesting because it seemed like, at least for future plot devices or. For shippers' interests, I mean, is that? Do you think that means anything? Um, the only thing I can think of oh, is uh, she's she's the she's a go-to for moral support in a sense, because mm-hmm. like at at the end of the day in season one, um, no matter like what happens, Rem was always there to back him up in a sense. So yeah, he's she's kind of his safety net. So yeah, he really loves Amelia, and of course he's like he's going for her, but. Um, when it falls, when it comes to it, he always falls back on Rem to support him. So I think that's why she chose Rem to, uh, to kind of like uh, doppelganger as. So makes sense. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Plus, if you really think about it, like I think if she would have chosen anyone else, maybe he super might have fallen for the the, the trap. Mm-hmm. But by by not like because Subaru knows Rem so well, he was like, "There's no way in hell that Rem would ever tell me to give up." So I know you're fake. You, like reveal yourself. So, um, it 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 would kind of like pull together that they have a strong connection together, even though it's not romantic, but mm-hmm. it it is fairly strong. That makes sense. I'm happy with that answer. But that's also why she's best girl. But <laughs> that's just me. God, I don't have a. Uh, I don't know. Did uh, would you guys give it this season? Did you guys score it? I haven't scored anything in like months, sir. You I'll, were give it, I'll give it a nine. I really enjoyed this season, even though like, yeah. Oh wow, a nine. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, even with all the cliffhangers. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for this last episode, I would have given it a nine as well. But this last episode brought it down to like a seven for me. Jesus, really? one episode, my god. Because you can't, like, this is not how you end, like, I don't care if it's part one of two, right? Like, there's no way you can end this entire, like, season of part one. Uh, like, you, you can't just leave it off like that. That's it's so triggering to me, right? Like, every week, <laughs> it's talking about how we're getting blue balls. Every week, it's a crazy <laughs> affair, and you just want to know more and more and more, right? And then they end off part one with this shit, right? Like, I get the first half. Like, I thought that was really nice that they threw in everybody and then, like, threw through Subaru in a direction that he has to go towards to kind of complete his mission in a sense. 
but yeah, like it, the ending is just so unsatisfying. I, yeah, but I it was kind of cute, right? Like I was adorable. <laughs> I mean, Ooh. he had his moment to shine when uh, when he first uh, like proclaimed that Subaru was his best friend. <laughs> but and that time is over. <laughs> yeah, that time is over, right? <laughs> Like they, he's he's gotten more time than than Rem has, which is which is really sad. So, I don't know what to say there. I see. Huh. I see. I thought it was weird. It definitely did not make me drop any points. I I rated this season a six just because I feel like damn nothing really. I, okay, I guess I'm the. I guess I'm the. Uh, what's what's the word? I don't know. I'm the I'm the one who just really enjoys the season. I like, like I who did, enjoyed but... it, but I just felt like that like we didn't get any steps forward, and I just felt like some narrative could have been better done. Um, Damn, I, yeah, I'm surprised. I don't know. It just it, like it, it was a very critical score. I'm scoring it that with the anticipation <laughs> that I'm probably going to score the next season much higher, or like the second part of this season. You know, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I didn't imagine they didn't make like the part two. Like for some reason, it was canceled, or it was extended by another <laughs> like season or two you know like how frustrating is it that this is what we were left with until the next part comes out yeah so that's why i give it a seven so (laughs) when does the next part come out then winter uh winter yeah Yeah, that's not that long of a wait it'll be fine that's if everything goes smoothly yeah it should be fine i give it i give the show seven mainly uh it just felt like really like it felt like Oh, it was like a day went by in the show, like after like all the resets well, and stuff. I mean, yeah, like, like the uh, well, because it's a loop, so of course, like, didn't feel like that much time went by. All right, I thought my my favorite character that they actually uh, introduced was the, the was it the the angry uh, t- uh, tiger? Basically, he just uh, end up uh, or whatever the guy turned into a beast. I can't remember his. I can't really remember. Garfield. Garfield. Basically, Bak- oh, yeah, Garfield. Garfield, and then he's basically Bakugo. So. I think that for me, I just found the whole sanctuary like boring. Like I just found the whole thing of the sanctuary and the trials just like not exciting. I mean, it, re- it really is as simple as that. Yeah. So I think that's why it didn't hit hit for me. I thought mm-hmm. I found like the, some of the interactions between characters and some of the stuff we learned about the universe um, and the lore interesting, but just this specific thing that he has to overcome not a fan of it especially because like okay like we saw one trial for sure that he went through which seemed like a cakewalk compared to like what like amelia is apparently going through and so it feels like really skewed and not really like a trial trial more like what what does a kid not feel like putting somebody through today kind of thing right yeah yeah. i know it needs rules or just structure, you know, structure yeah. that we as an audience can follow. Yeah. But yeah, like everything, like I can't even tell what's the, the main art or what's the main purpose of this yeah. season, you know, because everything seems so arbitrary, right? Yeah. Like in the very beginning, you have everyone coming back from their victory against the white whale. Uh, and then that just like went away. Royal selections is a thing still, but nope, that doesn't matter. We have to focus on these trials. Nope, that doesn't matter. Rem has to be like revived or brought back somehow. That doesn't matter. And then now we have Echidna and these seven witches, and we don't even know if they matter or not because that's how they ended the show. So maybe they matter. And then now we got Otto trying to tell Subaru to believe in the power of love and friendship. And we have to wait until winter to know what happens Damn, after that. So pretty- basically, nothing matters, <laughs> right? Like that's how that's how like frustrating it is. Like it was building up so much. And then in the end, like, it's wait until next episode. Up, you, it is still building. That's the problem is it just got cut off. Like, it's built it. It's laid the groundwork. And next season is probably going to be fire. But, like, you just got to wait for it. <laughs> See, I don't know. This is why, like, I don't try to get my hopes up for things because they leave me disappointed and unsatisfied, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, damn. yeah, well, like, I just, ReZero had me going for so long. And then they just, like, I guess maybe just me. I'm very biased. But, like, you have to make the last episode, like, like there has to be good closure somewhat there has to be somewhat of a closure but typically it's not the end though it's just the yeah point. it's it's just the half it's like david was saying it's just a halfway point i think this is I'm, what i'm hoping for what i'm hoping for is that this is gonna follow kind of like an attack on titan sort of like 
um, pacing thing. Where, like, the first season just had a ton of shock factor and action going on. Second season, the whole first half of the second season was, like, you know, setting things up. And it was a lot of confusing stuff. A lot of new characters and just kind of throwing mm-hmm. you into situations. And you don't really know what's going on at the time, but it all com- comes together. Um, and I think that's, and then of course it has like, you know, a little bit more of like a killer ending to the second season. I'm hoping that's what ReZero is going to be like too. I'm hoping they're following that formula because it worked really well. And, that's uh, and well, also, I know, I know, maybe I shouldn't compare them, but <laughs> you should have because I dropped Attack on Titans. So oh, wow. Burn. Okay. that's, that's your fault. <laughs> okay. I mean, I seem to be doing okay. Uh, but if, <laughs> but if, if, but if ReZero would go through the same patterns then I would not be okay. So. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. But yeah, I mean, we have to wait so long. It's just so it's like so long. Just a mid-season break, like how other animes have been doing it. So, you know, you know, David, we're we're getting older. You know, time is You're a fleeting older. factor. <laughs> at least, you know, at least it wasn't actually like a like a legitimate, uh, I guess, like ending or cliffhanger. It was just a terrible ending instead. I don't really don't know what's the better in between or like between the two. Seren, I didn't follow a show for 12 weeks to just get left with blue balls for three All right, months. Man. All right. Like, I can handle being teased for like a little bit, but three months is a little too long. And that's if it's fire, right? If it's really good. But if not, it could be the same thing as like part one. It's just tons of things brought up, you know, a lot of things to think about, talk about, and then, you know, like wait for season three to make a difference or something of that nature. I just feel like they have so much going on and they don't know which direction they want to head towards. Right, so I don't. <laughs> that's I don't, the thing that's in I don't think that at all. But I guess I'm the biased one because I like the least critical. So okay, honestly, I, mean, I didn't hate it. Like I thought, both. super like this season, I thought Subaru redeemed himself. Uh, I thought they like introduced like a bunch of like interesting characters. Like I thought were like just ridiculous. I mean, like you guys already touched base on like the witches, just completely ridiculous. Uh, but I, I don't know. Like overall, I mean, it, it, besides like where it felt, I just felt like there was really no progression. Uh. I, I mean, I really didn't know what to expect with Re- with ReZero. I mean, I I was just mm. happy enough, like I didn't end up hating Subaru by the end of it. Right. I thought um, you did still make fun of him crying a couple times. I did, and I also <laughs> thought it was ridiculous when he got eaten by bunnies. <laughs> so. I was laughing so hard. Anytime they showed like clips back to that, I just could not keep a straight face. Like that was so funny. <laughs> That's what I deal with watching. Yeah. Oh God, bunnies! How could you guys? <clears throat> they're they're dangerous creatures. Okay. <laughs> That's all of I got nothing else. Yeah. I don't have anything else. I'm just going to wrap it up for ReZero. So it's kind of like our mid season break for ReZero. We'll come back in the winter and continue this, continue the cliffhangers all over again. (laughs) So that's going to be it for ReZero. We're just going to move on next to uh, the Snafu. Just get in everyone's thoughts again for the, I guess, the series finale. So I want to start off Taylor since we haven't heard her thoughts yet. So, okay. I had read the light no- all the light novels up until the point of like that first prom finalizing right so i knew everything that was going to happen through that and um i didn't love it and i didn't hate it when i read it same thing for the anime i mean it was what it was and then i had been spoiled before finishing the anime about how it was going to end and Rude. i was like man fuck this anime and i was right. like I'm, I'm not gonna finish this um I actually, though, I have to say that although I was anticipating really hating it, I actually, like, ended up liking it, despite myself. Despite going into it wanting to hate it, I kind of liked it. I did not like who Hachiman ended up with, because I'm never going to. I just think that she's <laughs> boring as shit. But, <laughs> but despite that, like, I don't know, I have some unpopular opinions, at least, like, from what Stratton was thinking, where, like... After they go out, I call it their date, even though they were just, like, scouting for a location for that second prom. But, like, when they go out on their date, I actually thought it was really cute. I thought it was, like, nice seeing them nervous and, like, kind of happy for once. Um, Not that they weren't happy before, but just acting kind of goofy. I liked it. I could actually kind of see emotion from freaking Yukino and some chemistry between them. So it made me feel a little bit better about them ending up together in the end. Um, so what were your overall thoughts on the series then? My Well, I rated... I can't remember exactly what I rated it, but my overall thoughts were positive. I just think that it was a pretty basic ending that everybody could have seen happening. Everybody did see happening. And I felt like... I felt like, I felt like the show was its strongest when it had all the other side characters. I mean, it originally started with them doing services for like other students, and that mm-hmm. was not an aspect of this season at all. 
it was basically just like helicopter mom and sister freaking out about a prom. I mean, that's really all that happened this season. And then so, Yui just getting her heart broken over and over again for no reason. Oh, she had a reason. So you, right. you gave you gave the season a six. A six? <laughs> so, yes. Well, that was a lot more positive than I thought it was going to give it. Uh, I was going to ask, so do you know, like, do you think you can explain, like, what the whole deal of, like, her sister was? Like, everything that she's done, like, is it because, like, she, it's because she, um, she's worried about, like, her sister and she doesn't want her to go down her path? Is that, do you think that explains, like, kind of her actions? Yeah, like, I mean. Because I didn't, like, yeah, I didn't that's, really, that's, like, the I thing I didn't really understand, like, from the this, this series. I didn't understand, like, what role Harunu had in all this. From what I have felt, because I mean, from the novels, it's not always that much easier to be able to tell either. It's still a lot of existential stuff. Um, But from what I was able to gather, it always felt to me that her sister actually cared about her a lot. But she was also kind of bitter of her because she's at the beginning of her life and she's able to adjust like the path that she's going to follow. Whereas Haru followed the path that was set for her. And she really does, she feels like really trapped. Like she's made a lot of decisions that she would have liked to have changed or adjusted in the past. But it's she, she's just like at a point where it doesn't seem feasible for her. And so she loves her sister and she wants to help her, but she's also like kind of bitter about it too. Okay. That That's makes, what I that makes sense then. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I actually felt that she had a more important role than the mom. Cause like Trent <laughs> kept saying that he couldn't understand why the sister was there at all. But I actually felt like it made more sense for the sister to be involved than the mom. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, so overall, I mean, I, there, I don't know that there's really that much more to, to say about it. It ended the way that we thought it was going to. I really disliked in the end, like, I know that you guys kind of like the idea of, like, in an alternate universe of Hachiman ending up with the teacher. Mm-hmm. But, like, I got to tell you guys, that last episode where she, like, fell on top of him, I cringed harder than I have at almost <laughs> anything. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, but it it kept the dream alive. So oh. it's, That it's was fun. really brutal for me. And I I'll, <laughs> one last comment, and then I'll open up the floor. One last comment at the very end of this episode um, with, like, it basically ends with them continuing the service club and then, you know, Yui coming in and being friends with them still, basically. I felt like it was a little bit forced for that to happen so soon after everything. Sret and I were having a conversation where, like, this was, like, built up to be such a huge moment. It felt like there were going to be, like, ramifications. And even though this is just, you know, like, a slice of life, it's not like it's going to have, like, life and death ramifications. There should have still been some sort of, like dynamic mix up in their relationship and it felt like it would have taken time to at least overcome that but they were just going to skip that and act like oh this is fine people can handle this sort of emotional awkwardness right after the bat it was a little bit weird and cringy but Hmm. Eh, that's That's about it i thought thought it was like just really weird that they um because the whole thing with like hachiman when he's basically just saying like like how like they're like all these like kind of um I don't really want to call it like excuses, but like when he was talking about how like, oh, like without the club, I'm never going to see Yukino and stuff again. At the same time, I kept thinking like, dude, like, you know, if this happens, like you're going to lose you like one of them. But then they end up coming out with that ending where somehow they're all still together. And like it just basically seems like Yui took Iroha's word and basically it's gonna still try to fight for him, even though there's no point. Uh, or at least it's just kind of like how the ending was. I would have I would have liked it if it actually continued another year. Just because, like, I mean, I think it would have been hilarious with just a, a Hachiman sister uh, jumping in for high school. And just kind of like the, just more kind of group dynamic stuff would have been hilarious. Like, let's say she joined that club. I, I thought it would have been awesome to at least see that. Yeah. Wow. I agree. I thought the interactions between the sister and Iroha were hilarious. Um, yeah, it was, anything with Iroha was just awesome. I, th- I really don't think that the point, though, was going to be that Yui was going to continue trying to get him. I, th- I mean, I think that she knows that that's done. Uh, does she? I don't know. Doesn't she? Otherwise, I'm this doesn't sh- even feel complete. Like, Well, th- then the ending would have been pointless. Um, yeah. Or it would have just been even... It would have been even worse than like what it was. Um, that's just what I think. I do definitely feel like Yui and Hachi. Like, if he had to end up with somebody, I, I would have wanted him to end up with Hot or um, with, with Yui. I feel like they just had the most chemistry, like, the most natural chemistry. And, like, the strengths of each other. Like, they have strengths and weaknesses that the other person doesn't have. Whereas, like, Hachi and Yukino are basically, like, 
the same person, except that she has no emotions or humor. Jeez, all right. I mean, that's not true, but okay. <laughs> well, okay, it's just my opinion. Like, we, we don't have to argue about it. It's just my opinion. We take it for, you know, what it is. But, like, I mean, they just seem a lot more similar personality-wise. I mean, it's touched on a lot, whereas, like, Yui actually has something different to bring to the table. And I feel like they could balance each other out a lot better. They just seem so much more natural together. So that's that's who I would have picked. So that's disappointing, mm. but I they seemed not... happy together in the end, which made me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I can respect that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like, we are because yeah. I know. Well, well, we'll be talking about it again next week oh, or okay. Friday again. <laughs> oh God! I was gonna say like we already said most of our stuff from last week, so I don't really need to repeat repeat again for for now. Nope. But so. with how big a snafu was, I want to get everybody's thoughts. Everybody's uh. Well, I guess we're gonna do it again update. next week. So let's see it hell next week. yeah. So I guess that's gonna be it for snafu. Um. We're gonna go. Let's just go to Haikyuu because I think it's the last one we all watch. So, Damachi. Oh, did Taylor watch? Oh no, I said all. Yep, yep. Apparently, it I know, doesn't mean I know, people. I know, I know. Or you guys can do Higurashi, whichever. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll I didn't. Do I didn't watch it this week. Yeah, we'll do Haikyuu. So. Okay. Okay. And I basically like forgot a lot of things that happened in winter, so <laughs> you guys can catch up. Just basically oh, where man. we are in the season, like what's going oh, on in the tournament. Oh my god. What's everybody's thoughts? Everybody was so hyped. Cool. What happened, man? You sound so down. <laughs> uh, they didn't even do anything this episode. Nothing. They basically, like, the first half was just uh, like a rerun of what happened in the last episode of part one. And then the second half was just more storytelling, I talking guess. Talking about the freaking fan chance. That's all they were talking about the whole time. <laughs> <Yeah. half. laughs> Good. Yeah, basically. Guys, we're getting overpowered. Like, we need to boost our support uh, effect somehow. Here comes a real sister with her own like click with the drums and whatnot. I mean, I thought that was pretty cool, not gonna lie. But um, it was, I, I don't see how you can make that like the the main focus for the second half of the episode. No, because like the the fan transaction that's like every sport. So I don't know why it has to be like made so important in volleyball. But yeah. Dude, this is my like, this is like my new uh, food wars. I basically I just do stuff while this is running. Jeez, that's harsh. Like, <sighs> that's yeah. not how it's supposed to be, man. That's it's, that's just not right. It's not, but it feels I it feels this so episode. bad. Oh my god! Even though like I just I did not know what was going on because I forgot. So oh my god! So I don't even know who's, who they're playing, and like I I do remember the um the main <laughs> like the, the the guy from the other team. I remember he was important in that first season, the first part. But I just forgot who he, like, who he was. <laughs> who or why he was important. <laughs> yeah. I knew he was important. Because he looked familiar. Yeah. Which one? There's two of them. The duel, like the setter, I guess. Yeah. Like, I think because I, I, you know, I think he was taught. Was he at the, the training camp or with? Yeah, he was part of the Olympic with Ka- uh, Kageyama? training. Okay. Wait, really? Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. So that's like the only thing so- I remember. Yeah. One complaint that I had pretty consistently through the first half of this, of mm-hmm. the season, was that I think we are all on the same page that the animation is not good, right? Nope. We all, we all agree? Okay. Nope. I wasn't so, paying attention. I could, have, I could have let that go a little bit more, except that I really felt that the pacing, the storyboarding, and like just the direction of the plot also really got weak. And I can't tell like which part of it got weak faster um but just it felt very off from the first couple or for, from the first few seasons and now that this first part of the second season has come out i went online and read some reviews because i was curious to see what people were thinking and mm. i finally started to see other people mention the same thing and i think that that's really like why it's becoming so weak on top of the animation because there is no direction like we, they introduced all these characters but they didn't give us a reason to care about them like, they told us kind of, like, why they were impressive, but then left it at that. And now we've just been stuck in this, like, circle of this tournament arc, talking about chanting and, like, <laughs> exposition on, like, how to hit a ball over the net. Like, it's just been, like, really basic, boring stuff. And it mm-hmm. felt, I think that the original, like, three hi- three seasons really cut a lot of that out, keep the anime going. And I don't think that's happening anymore. Well, the thing that sucks, too, is, like... uh um like what made like the actually exciting to watch like the matches is because like the animation was just intense like you, you mm-hmm. basically had like the fluidity with all the points or at least like the main like kind of like majority points 
And then if even if they rehash kind of like certain parts, like the animation just looked like it just looked you know fluid. It looked nice. This it just feels choppy. Uh, it just feels just really kind of I don't know. It just feels it just it just it just looks bad. It just for it's sure. Terrible. I mean, the only reason I didn't mention animation more was just because I don't think that there's any chance that it's going to get better again. Like I think this is what we're going to have. Nope. So there's just like no point in even talking about it. Like that is just what it is. The, nope, the only, I lost hope. The so. only time that like that um I assume that we we might see like nice points is like it's gonna be like when it's like right at the end. Like maybe last episode they'll give it a shot. They might have some cool, like, you know, maybe cool like, you know, small short points here and there. But I, I don't think it's gonna be anything like how like like the third season, like almost like it seemed like every other episode, if not every every episode, had just like some just sick epic moment. Whether or not it was like uh it was Eskishima with his crazy ass block. Um, or it was like just like that 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 uh, that random guy that basically just like guesses where to block, <laughs> like even just like the animation with those points was just nuts. Uh, like the power of like the of the guy from the other the other team, where like every single time that guy shot, it looked like somebody was going to die. Whoever got hit by that ball, and then like this, it just looks it just everything just kind of looks just the same. Now like it's just like they use kind of like the same shots where like you know if a ball passes them, they just show everybody just like with three second delay trying to hit you know hit the ball back. Well, part of what made it so epic, though, too, was the animation, yeah, but it was also the narration leading up to it. Like I said, like, you take, like, Oikawa, right? I mean, part of the reason why that was so epic was because we learned about his backstory with um, Kageyama. We learned about his motivations. We learned, I mean, there's there's a reason I have to turn the episode off after they missed that last ball before <laughs> I see their reactions. Because even though I want Karasuno to win, it, like, breaks my heart that they lost. And really, I mean, ever since that team... I haven't been. I think we've only seen that one from the third season and then this team that they've played against. But I mm-hmm. haven't cared about the people on those teams at all. It was already starting to get a little bit weaker with season three, caring about the other team. And now this this season, like, they haven't given us a reason to care about what happens with this match. Obviously, we just want Karasuno to win because they're Move on. MCs. But, like, beyond that, there's just no reason to care about what's happening. Yep. So. Yeah. Agreed. I'm probably just gonna hate watch this season and read the manga. But what, dude, <laughs> it, it seems so difficult to read like sports manga though because it's just like a big part of it's supposed to be the, you know like the sport, and I just feel like like trying to watch like a sport like, like just like shot by shot in a manga just seems terrible. It, it, no, it seems if, if 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 it's done right, like it they they can make it work. Like oh it's... god, I don't know. I've never tried. Re- sport. I would argue that the reason I like sports anime is because it actually builds up the characters so much. There's a reason I don't like real life sports versus right. anime sports. So yeah, that, that, like in manga, it could still be good. Yeah, especially they just focus on attention. Like if it's a good manga and they have good illustrations and good pacing with the panels, mm-hmm. like they make anything like super tense and interesting that will keep you like just constantly reading, like from one chapter to the next. But uh, I felt like with this. Which is uh, was it fourth season in general? They're just dropping the ball and everything. Like yeah. after after they made it to nationals and they played their very first match, even though like like the the first team that uh, Karasuno went up against was kind of like no namers, they they still could have at least showcased some kind of like tension or some kind of like like wow moment with like the art style and whatnot, like something that shows that hey, it's season four we're gonna do something new, something impressive, uh, you know, like. Hopefully nothing like crazy like Dragon Ball where there's like a crazy aura around these people when they're about to serve or something. But at least something that that that's up to par with like the seasons before it, you know? And then uh I guess maybe it wasn't just Sren, but yeah, I do notice that with the animation that they're just getting lazier and lazier. And I think at this point there's there's no turning back. Like I don't think they can make this better. If if they did, it would be amazing why they would do it so late rather than early on. Seriously. Also, the music really sucks now too. Like the in match music and like, not. I'm not even talking about like even jazz the beat? open. Yeah, like even like the <laughs> opening and ending. Whatever. I mean, it's cool. To, it's cool to have a good opening, especially like mm-hmm. we all agree there. But like, as long as the music in, like the music in the show in the anime was always really good as well. It mm-hmm. definitely like built mm-hmm. up the hype. And I feel like there's no music anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, if there yeah. is, it's so forgettable. They might as well have just skipped it. Put more <laughs> money into the animation budget so sorry going, going back to kind of like who's point about uh basically how like even if they play like when uh Krasno played like a no-name team it reminded me of the episode i think it's i think it was in the first season where they they played a no-name team but they actually shot like they, they or they showed you like the like the feeling of basically like defeat in a sense 
like mm-hmm. like actually like what the team was basically feeling after that like like you know after like they actually played because I believe that they kind of like mentioned like a you know a couple of the players like it was like actually like their last chance of making it to uh, I'm just gonna call it Worlds or Nationals Nationals, <laughs> nationals. <laughs> we're going to Worlds boys let's go <laughs> but because like even like those like you felt like like uh, you know, like emotional even though you had no idea who the hell they were and then they just kind of showed like other teams that basically just like how hard they were taking the loss um you like you really don't get anything of that like it's like um and like they they like so far like this like this season it wasn't even really like the match they basically focused on like the crowds like who the fuck here it's basically like when you're like when you're playing like you're in the points you're you're, you're on the court the last thing you hear of is anything outside like you you like you don't pay attention to anybody else except like what's going on like even though even if they're new or that's like first experience no way in hell are they gonna actually pay attention to who the fuck's cheering who cares like it's i don't know i just like i kind of let that that whole just point that that whole like it was just it was just dumb. It was just. It was. I mean, it, if it was like at least they 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 had if they felt like they they had like the the need to address this in any way, it's done. I don't want to see the crowds again. I don't want. I want to see anything more unless they're booing them. That's the only thing I want to see. That's oh, all I got. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I had to just kind of rant about that no. part. This is That's your, fine. This is your eyes show. I'm just like. I'm just watching this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the background, but like, I was not paying attention to any of this. Food wars. I was not paying attention to any of this, man. I was just, just watching the you, volleyball. You missed, you missed nothing, dude. It's well, this with this episode. So hopefully, it's just a slow start uh, because they did spend the first half just doing a recap. But they, they yeah. in season one, they built so much of uh, like Hinata's like growth that I'm still waiting for him to just pop off, right? Well, like with this episode and the episode before. They're starting to show that, like, he's starting to hone his instincts, and he's starting to become like a more well-rounded volleyball player. Like, uh, they did show one occasion where he was able to spot like what the play was. He went to the position of where the ball was going to be. He's reading the ball now, yeah. Right, and then he just couldn't. His body couldn't react, but he was there. And this time, instead of just like getting hit in the face, it just hit his (laughs) His foot. foot. (laughs) Right. So I thought it was pretty funny, and it just goes to show that you know, like, this guy is starting to become a more well-rounded player. And to be honest with you, if he's like crazy and attacking and then he's well balanced with defense, like this guy is unstoppable. Like I'm just waiting for him to just pop off. And hopefully, if since this is like what I think this was the they're playing against the, the, the second seed of the, the national tournament. Like if there's any time for like someone to shine, like it's against a tough opponent like this. So um my expectation of this is it's gonna be a slow start, and then the second half is is when everything's gonna pop off. But uh, that just be that just me setting myself up for failure. So I, I assume they're gonna do backstories though with these characters. Um, right. It's like again, kind of going back with like the first season, the second season. Like they built up so much of like Oikawa and his team, mm-hmm. uh, just to basically because they, they lost to them, then they went through it basically where you know uh, is it, you know uh, where he's I think where he's they're reach, like they're reaching out for like help or at least uh, is his name Kaguya? Why am I blanking on his name? Kaguya, what? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, like where Kageyama was reaching oh out God, to like Oikawa right. for Your help, boy. and it was basically like, uh, yeah, I, I haven't heard his name. Dude. Like immediately when this show started, and I saw it was still trash animation, I was like, oh boy, okay, this is gonna be a long season. They lost um, it. What? Where, like this team is supposed to be like the second seed, yet I don't care about like any of these characters. I don't think there's gonna be like a chance of caring about these characters at all either. Uh, it, it's like, it's I I don't know. They're trying to like, I just feel like it's gonna be. Uh, I think this like this see like because the, they're still in the first set. I'm pretty sure, and then yep. uh, I just feel yep. like they're definitely gonna milk this like match or round or whatever you want to call it. Right. Where I, I just feel like they're gonna show like a few points. They're gonna show a character's backstory, and then basically you know, more points will go through. And they'll watch another, <laughs> and then they'll watch another, then they'll end up uh, talking about another character going through his backstory, and then going back. Except um, I, they may not spend as much time because I do remember like the. The the main like manager lady like they like they, her backstory was like what five minutes it was like that random thing where where Hinata like forgot his shoes and they basically showed like a really like really lame kind of like uh like oh animal. yeah the first half of it yeah yeah where it was just a it was just a, it was like just a terrible backstory and and then I just remember it was like and that's why I'm interested in volleyball I'm like the fuck like there's nothing that happened with that and it was just it was just really poor so I'm just assuming like if they do attempt to do backstories it's gonna be whether it's not gonna hit the emotional sense. Or if it's just going to be like really lazy, or it, the animation could also play a part of it as well. But <laughs> I don't know. Man. I'm like when I saw that, I was like, all right, I got I found my new food wars. So this is where I legitimately will be eating during this episode. 
Because I mean, again, they're just talking about they're just talking about lame points, like, like where like they're just kind of like talking about the same kind of like issues and things that they've always gone through. Where it's just like really like the part that matters is going to be like the last set or like last point or whatever it's going to be like or like when it gets really intense. I think that's when I'll kind of jump into it. It's like a lot of sports where you just kind of want to jump in on the, like the last quarter because yeah. a lot of, like a lot of the like a lot of it like going to it. You don't really care. Yeah, I mean, like, blame, it's, blame it's kind of sad to say, but as a big fan, I like. It, it, it hurts to hear that, but I, I, I can kind of understand it just because of the pacing that the first part set up and with the way that they're opening up to part two. I, I, I can get that. I'm, and I'm sorry I ruined it for you, man. No, I mean, <laughs> you know, like, that's just the, the problem with, like, like, uh, like sequels, right? Like, there's so much hype built up into it that you're hoping it's going to be as good or even better than the, the previous seasons. So, it it, like, be. it's everything's... Right, everything's bound to just like climax and just start to plateau after that. So, like, it, it, it's fine, but I still have hopes just for the fact that you know, like, they're building up Hinata's growth to to pop off at a certain point. So that's just what I'm waiting for. For this game or this match, it seems like basically like you know, like they're how like the you know the Oikawa is basically like the you know, like the the first boss, then the the second boss was the guy from the third season. They just just crazy strength, just the animation just made it so intense. Right, and this right. this one it just seems like you know like, it's like the 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 twins and it's basically just going to be like where they're kind of like hinting where they're they basically can be like you know like uh, Kageyama and, and Hinata, right? And you know, on power with that point, yeah, basically with like that final point where it's like oh they can do it too. I'm like yeah, well they no shit. I mean I would hope so. It's basically <laughs> it's it's just I don't know because they, they're making like the quick seem like just cr- like it's just a crazy ability. But at mm-hmm. the same, the same thing. Like the same time, you'd think like this should be like a normal thing to kind of do. Well, I, I mean, mean if like, you have like a good setter, right. somebody would, that can hit the ball. They, everyone keeps saying how like, like it's such a unique thing that Kageyama and Hinata does. So like, I don't know. I don't. So it's not a surprise that like there's that they are surprised that you can see another team do it. Yeah. Like, I don't. Yeah. I don't knock that against them for being surprised because right, it is. Not, it's not like, a common thing. I, yeah. Yeah. I think it makes sense people are surprised, but I'm not surprised that it's them because they're twins. I mean, I if it was right. going to be anybody, it would kind yeah. of make sense that it would be them, right? Right. I think a big shock factor, too, with the Kageyama and uh, Hinata is because, it, you know, Hinata's a part of that. He's like, what, five feet? Mm-hmm. Or uh, something like that. And he basically just jumps Super with it. Like, yeah, yeah, he basically just jumps with everybody else. Mm-hmm. I think that's also kind of like more like with the shock factor as well because nobody really expects it. Yeah, I mean, real life is kind of the same thing too. Like, you don't expect the short guy to have like high hops. So. Yeah, all of a sudden he's right in your face and just destroys you. Yep. <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, that's yeah. that's that's what my thoughts on it so far. We'll see what happens next episode. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see at this point. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be like, can't wait. The one that won't be hating, hate watching this. <laughs> so me too. I'm hyped. I, I really hope not, dude. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be it for IQ. That was such a nice start to the season we had. Um, so we got Sasha right. back in here. Um, glad to have you, Sash. So glad to be here, boys. I know you're hey, excited. Bro. We're gonna move on to your favorite show, Got a High School. Got a High School. We gotta oh, talk about yeah. that season finale. Best ending ever. <laughs> talk about the season finale. Oh okay. God. Are we getting into it? You can go ahead. Go sir. ahead, sir. We it's are. all yours. The floor is yours. All right, the floor is mine. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Johan, I hope you're here. If not, forget you. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, boy. So let, let me tell you guys, you know what I love? I love when a show starts off strong and then it has some trouble along the way and the ending just wraps everything up so beautifully and flawlessly that you're like, you know what? This ride was worth it. Because you can't say that about God of High School <laughs> at all. All right, let, let's be honest. For the past three weeks, I've been harping on the same issues. I think most of us have been on the same page. This show just has absolutely no idea what it's doing. Um, Wukong and all this fanboyism that you guys were talking about, cool, made zero sense. All of it made zero sense. I, I literally want to take my brain and just put it in a microwave because of how bad this was. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Nobody cares about this guy's grandpa. That twist at the end. Oh, we're going to use a new vessel. Yeah, you know who's going to be? You, your one-armed grandpa. <laughs> Bro. Like, come on, man. Because you know why they did that? That's the only character left that anybody gives a damn about. So, eh, just terrible writing. The fight scene, yeah, it was cool. I, I won't deny the smoothness of the animation and, and the beauty of the art style. But ultimately... Everything in the show was absolutely pointless. 
pointless, pointless. Um, one of the, one of the worst shows ever, and I, I will put it <laughs> put it up there as Ooh. in terms of hype. First three episodes were golden. After that, the show just couldn't find its footing, and it just went into absolute madness. I uh, I gotta say, I wish I did not watch this because I feel like. It's that Adam Sandler movie where he tries to answer a, a trivia question at the end. And they're like, what is the Industrial Revolution? And he's like, you see, Lucky is a dog. And he's like the <laughs> industry. And that's the revolution. And then you're expecting the announcer to say something nice about him. He's like, sir, we all are <laughs> stupider for listening to you. I award you no points. <laughs> and may God have mercy on your soul. That's exactly how I feel about this show. So uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that, guys. It's Damn. atrocious. Know. Oh, uh, how to say? I don't know about the worst show. I, we've, we've all seen like way worse shows. We've seen so, worse for so sure. It's not worse. It's like I'd probably like middle, like average, mediocre. So like not worse, but it's because yeah. I feel like if you just wanted action, this could be a solid six or seven. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you're going for the story, or you actually have a brain and can pay attention. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not doing so hot, you know. So mm-hmm. I, I I feel you with that one. Yeah, I obviously it's not the worst show ever. But oh, okay, Mister Shred, let's hear about this fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> by, by, by the end of it, I like it, it was basically I was like, all right, we're we're really not gonna get like any kind of like characters backstories or anything. We're basically just kind of kind of just watched, I guess, for its action. Which I actually liked the action. I thought it was uh I thought it was like like just like the animation was I thought it was I thought it was pretty sick to watch. Uh even though I had just no clue what was going on. It made, like there was just more and more people showing up. You have no idea who they were. And like they even show up another basically they showed like the female Shenron at the end of the at the at the episode. Where um where where, where I, at, at that point I was just thinking like this is just Dragon Ball Z. Like I don't watch it for like its story or anything I mean, like that. You just watch it because it's just fun. Wukong, man. It's just yeah, I that, that, like that whole thing, like with, like the the moment like when he first uh, like shrinks his like, shrinks the staff, like I thought Our like that. I don't, know, I don't want it so sick. Yeah, like, I, I thought it just looked really cool. I mean, that's why. I, mean, I still don't. That's why. Like, I still don't yeah, think it's a good show, I mean, but... Yeah, like that's why um, Dragon Ball F, like it was originally he was like Goku was based off of Wukong, so that's where that whole original Dragon Ball stuff is. So, but at least Dragon Ball had a story. Just saying. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Koo. If you want to watch something cool, go to the aquarium. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Tons of action at the aquarium, boy. Let me tell you about them clownfish. That's right. Ooh, None of those man. fish make any sense. But at least you know you're just there to watch these creatures swim around. You don't care about their backstory. You don't care if they have a name. Oh, my gosh. Got a high yeah. school. Terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, mind-numbingly awful. I'm sorry. This is just... Hey, if you're well, Brian, you just I, want to watch the action. You're you're set. Yeah, I didn't think it was a good show, but it was like, at the end. It was just kind of fun to watch for the animation. I think like if you're Bro, you if, don't... if you're a certain type of shonen fan, I think I can see how this will appeal to you. It's just, just not for us, I guess. I want to say this is like the the fireworks of anime. You know, like it's pretty, it's nice, and you go ooh ah like every now and then. But like that's basically all you're getting. Just like, it's like every other fireworks show. Yeah, just a few <laughs> minutes of satis- uh, uh, like satisfying like fight scenes and like animation, and then like that's it. At the end, you're like, okay, time to go home. You know, like nothing else to see here. So, yep. I did like I the music just... in the show, though. The music in the show, I thought was really good. Really, I thought yes. you didn't like like the dub seven, the electronic stuff, Shren. Uh, but besides like the, some of the parts in the, in the opening, I actually like the like just like those simple beats that they did, like the, when he when they basically kind of like when he first came down, like when he was like Wukong. Or even like the the beat that plays when uh, Joker when we basically like find out who Joker is or when he releases his creature Joker thing, mm-hmm. and then like that just simple beats. I don't know. Like I like those like just like those little just simple themes. Okay, no, I can get that. Dude, actually, the OP is kind of the same with the series for me. Like the the beginning got me as oh man, this is pretty you know it's pretty good you know, and then the beat drops. You're like ugh, just just, just <laughs> go back, go back to what you were doing before and keep yeah. it that way because when they yeah. start saying. Yeah. Uh, I'll be your contradiction, and it just like I'm just like, oh, you lost me, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you lost me. What does this I even mean? <laughs> Spot on. Yeah, I, I, I think mean, my it problem on you, but no. Th- this is like that that girl you're, you're trying to ask out, and then you find out, you know, she she's a Holocaust denier, and you're like, what? Come on, bro. Like, 
what what just happened? So <laughs> that's what the show is to me, man. It had so much potential, honestly, and it had so much style. Like, do you remember the comedic moments with Jin? What happened to those? When he would think like, oh, oh yeah, no. what's ha-? like all of that absolutely gone. Um, any tension for the tournaments absolutely gone. Han's friend and his illness absolutely gone. I mean, both ways. So it, it just I mean, it, it, uh, it, it, I, it did too much. I like never was never a fan of the comedic moments. So that didn't get for what? me. I didn't. Wow. It, that wasn't my kind of, kind of comedy, but I do like, I didn't remember how like, I just felt the whole tournament. I never felt the tournament ever mattered. Like I was always more interested in everything outside the tournaments and the commissioners. I always liked them True. better than like the main characters. So I think you probably wear elephant underwear. So that's why you're offended. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, what'd you guys rate it? What'd you guys rate the show? I probably like, oh, probably God. five or six. I give, yeah, I I'd probably give it a five. Yeah. Okay, I think I gave it a six or a seven. I can't remember. Wow. These I standards, mean, right? Okay, for me, my standards are seven. Is it's like, ah, you know, it did what it it did what it need, it needed to do. Like, I wouldn't really ever. I never watched it again. Um, but I mean, that's kind of like how I score things. I think All right, here's it, a question: If if this is a seven, do you watch the second season? Yeah, I'm gonna watch. Yeah, I'll, I'd watch would, the second yeah. season. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But cool. but it's like more like you know annoying. Like if it, if a second season were to come out, you wouldn't have to like really worry about taking it. Like I don't really take, even though they have like serious tones to the show, I don't really take anything I don't, I, like of this show serious anymore. Just kind of like how they yeah, kind of just like, drop. You know, yeah, it would drop down the category of like just stuff that like, I'd be watching casually or just like in the background. Yeah. Like, like kind of like a guilty pleasure in a sense. Yeah. That's but it's trash. But I mean, it's you know, I, I'm not gonna hate it. <laughs> so, I'd rather just rewatch Dragon Ball to be honest. Oh God! Yeah, there we go. Cool. Here. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. I mean, yeah, okay. Go ahead. You go ahead, sir. Well, I hope you enjoy your yeah. season two he'll of just, God of High School. Strano's, he'll just yep. be like Peter, just rewatch One Piece for like the fifth time. <laughs> I know when I have so many other things I could be watching uh, that I have not seen yet. I the uh, I, I don't know. It's just like there was like kind of like tones like at the end of it that seemed like it could be interesting to kind of go off of but then you when you know that they're just going to kind of speed run through like their either backstories or just character development i mean you're not like, gonna really get any of that. when they mentioned like, they're gonna go to like wukong's like hometown i always like an adventure in anime but i don't i wasn't like giving the high hopes for whatever they do for this so i, I would still watch it, i guess but i'm not gonna like be as hyped as like brian was or something so yeah i'm just saying I mean, like, that <laughs> uh, I mean, if if anything, like if you know your highlight is going to be your 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 fighting, right? Uh, all the fight scenes, just just stick to the tournament, like just flesh out the tournament. I don't see what they're trying to do with all this extra like backstory yeah. and. I mean, you see, these... yeah, you say that, but like, I just the tournament was like the weakest part because it's like the one that didn't. No, matter. but that's the thing. But that's because it, it really didn't matter, right? They didn't make it the fo- focus. I mean, you basically had like a couple of fights, and then boom, next next story, like. There's going to be the national tournament now, but before that, let's throw in a wedding. Let's throw in like I guess yep. like uh, like a fight in a park. Let's throw in the backstory of Jin's grandpa well, and then it, the one nine tailed fox guy. That well, that and like it just started going off crazy once. Like the Joker came in with his his Grim Reaper like Stan, his Charyuk. Yeah. Right? So yeah, but that's the problem with the show is it revealed the purpose of the tournament way too late. Right? We found out right. oh it's to activate and find out where the key is or who who possesses it. If they would have, like I said, if they would have prefaced this with, okay, we got these guys that are trying to um, unlock their god to defeat the entire world. We got these guys who are opposing them, and they're trying to unlock the key through this tournament, and that's the basis of it. So now we know they're going to be some batshit crazy powers. And then you mm-hmm. got these high schoolers coming in who are unaware of what the purpose of the tournament the tournament is, but they all want this one wish that's granted at the end. And then you hint at that Shenron guy showing up at the end being like, oh, hey, guys, me, me, me. All of a sudden, storytelling becomes much better. And you're like, oh, wow, okay, I see the point of this tournament. I see the point of where this is headed to, even if it's a little bit sloppy. But what they did was ass backwards. They're just like, let's just throw this at you and this and this. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, you want some more of this? Too bad. We're going to show this guy in a hospital bed who eats people's (laughs) legs. Okay, thanks. And then, uh, you know, they're like, they expect you to care at the end, so it just. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm more salty because it had potential. That's my problem. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's that's. I think that's just the main problem of like web comics. Anything like web, like when things started off, is like 
I'm pretty sure the author started as a fanfic or just as a hobby. He didn't expect it to like blow up, and then he just like realized that like he has so many like, or he was trying to escalate it and just like he just couldn't get like that the tight like writing together and like, it had all the loops. That the... Well, well, to be fair, I think I don't think it's the like at the fault of the the writer. It could just be that the adaptation was just done poorly. That too, but I've seen many like like web comics where like. It's just the author just was making things up as he went along. So I don't think he right. had like a concrete thing, plan for what yeah. he was doing. But the thing was, this has a lot of hype, right, for the manhwa. So I had assumed that if that's the case, the manhwa was really good. So it wasn't the writer. It was obviously just the adaptation just went wrong. Because they, the, they chose what was going to be the anime. And, of course, they had to condense it into, what, 13 episodes? So I, I get that they were rushing and they had to pick what they had to throw inside the anime. So... If, if if people are saying that the manga is really good or it's godlike, then that that must mean that it was just adaptation that went wrong. I don't think it was the writer's fault with this mm-hmm. at all. I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll have to yeah, see. I've, I've heard they changed some things. Um, like one thing that, that I heard was when Naruto Junior turns into Sage Mode, like he absolutely whoops Jin's ass. Jin does not turn into like a hint of Wukong and knock him down or whatever happened in the anime. So I've heard that's one major change. Oh, but I don't know. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay. I don't know what the other ones were. But yeah, definitely, I think anything produced by Crunchyroll, I am steering clear of after uh, <laughs> yeah. of God and God of High School. That, that looks to be the trend as right now. Crunchyroll is a, is a big no-no. Yep. I just, again, like I wish they didn't have to do the whole like 13 episodes like format like because no, no one in Japan cares about mangas. So you had a chance to do your own thing and just like, just... To, like follow your own like format for your sure. streaming because the whole point is for the streaming service so they should have really done uh 24 or at least given these uh, shows a chance but 24 12 is the, like if it, it was just like way too fast or like pick one show and do 24 instead of doing three shows like, to, that too, to, yeah. to fun and mm-hmm. do 12 or 13 so yeah yeah yep. but rip hmm. so. rip you got of high school flunked out <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing else. All right, so yeah, that's that's our thoughts for kind of high school. Uh, we're just gonna move on over to Fire Force then. Um, yes. Do, so, I guess Dude, I've... more fucking people like that are like creepy, like creepy fucking people with kids. God damn! Like what? What the yeah, hell is this, like the tone of the show? Like, I don't know. Like of all the creeps I've seen, like this guy just makes it up there. There's how much <laughs> he, how much he loves abusing kids, just showing off how stronger he was. <laughs> I will say the one thing I do like about this character <laughs> is he's very honest about the fact that he doesn't want to face anybody that's stronger than him. Because <laughs> you know how the bad guy's like, I want a challenge. And you're like, dude, if I was that bad guy, I would never want a challenge. Come on, man. <laughs> I worked my ass off to get to this point. I just want to chill. So uh, that that's the one redeeming quality I think this guy has is it's just pure honesty. But yeah, extremely fucking weird. Dude, didn't they say that he was as strong as Benny Maru? People were saying Basically, that. Basically, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's like why insane. would he be scared then? Like, why would he be scared? Like, if if Benny Maru is scared, I think he's just he just wants the easy route, you know. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I can't. You know, I basically would be with Sasha. I mean, if you're bas- if you're getting paid, you know, like well, and you're just like, yeah, you know, I just stay here. I mean, but it also seems like I'm guessing like if he's wrapped up like his arm, like I'm guessing he's just like slowly deteriorating, isn't he? Um, I don't think so. Don't or is well, his ability just with the smoke? I think it's just with the smoke. But wouldn't he or have to Ash. be slowly deteriorating? Because um, Benny Maru's friend, Captain Guy, who's all wrapped up in bandages, isn't that what happened to him? Like he's he, too much. He overheated, yeah. so that's why he can't like use his fire powers anymore. I don't know if that's the case with this guy. I don't think he overheated. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I forgot what the term for really... it was like carbonized or something. I don't know. Yeah, I forgot like what they actually like called it or what they said. But it, I don't section. know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I would assume though that we'll probably we'll probably get to know a little bit more about his backstory. I'm thinking I I, I, um, I would assume so because it seems kind of like a I don't even know if I would really consider him like a major character. I mean, he was like in his like past, and that was it. I think I don't really know if we're gonna see much from his backstory. It seems like he just just he seems like the the one dimensional like I don't know. This is I just like to abuse people so you weaken me. So that's all I'm gonna be. Oh man, we got to see Mia again in this show. Apparently, uh, really, uh, really scarred the kid. <laughs> the 
the one uh the one kid that like uh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. star the starry eye guy basically yep. uh the kid took the bug dude you shouldn't have paid anybody for your yeah. avatar you should just take it for that <laughs> <laughs> all he's missing is the goatee god that guy just yeah that's <laughs> true and the kid just fucking screams that. Oh my god, that was like it's just like one just nuts. And the guy like couldn't really do anything. So he basically has just like a, a, was a bunch of flames coming from like his right side, right arm. Uh yeah, yep. Yeah, poor Nantucket, that little kid. He, he's living a horrible <laughs> life. Not only does he have ma- massive PTSD, he's getting physically abused at a laboratory. Dude. He's getting abused by a guy who loves seeing him get abused. Yeah. Well, you know, I I think. That creepy guy. I already forgot his name too. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Gary. He, <laughs> I, I, like, <laughs> Gary looks like a very disgruntled office worker. I think the one thing we will probably get from his character is more insight into Hijima, and he might reveal something potentially about their methods or their history if he gets defeated. I feel like he's gonna be one of those guys that's like, since you beat me, I'll tell you the truth. Right? Since. He's he's been he's been thirsting for Shinra, man. He's looking at those shins. <laughs> God. Also, that the game so it's pretty funny how, like, uh, Victor was making a big deal how he was gonna come clean to everyone. He's a spy. Everyone's like, yeah, bro, we already know. <laughs> it's <was> pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, I like that part too. It's uh, do we do we think that um that uh that Victor is gonna die? No, I, think, I so. think he's gonna be saved so. by Shinra. Yeah, and plus, like they brought the whole uh, eighth company, like in the background somewhere. So I think someone's gonna keep an eye on him. They basically kind of like start kind of like a, like a battle or a war with uh with Hajima. Yep. Yeah, I guess who cool. else could sh- I guess who who else would show up besides this dude? Like, is there any kind of like other bosses we can think of that uh, would be there? Well, spoilers in the OP, so I guess I don't know what I should say, but oh, I forgot. But okay. Yeah. So that daycare lady. Yeah, oh, daycare yeah. ladies for sure. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but, but yeah, they showed her too. At the, I think at the end of the episode. Oh yeah, she yeah. looked creepy too, and she's yeah. working with the kids. Mm-hmm. This is like some Maiden Abyss stuff right here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, wait. Or, I think it was maybe. Gonna happen. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say. Uh, maybe they're gonna highlight like you know how you know the Catholic churches have incidents with with little children. Uh, maybe this is to highlight that as well. I mean, you already uh, seen yes. that in Joker's past when, like, he was in the part of the secret, like, police underground. Yeah, but they're just, like, more reiterating that, reiterating, you know? Yeah. These places just hate kids, man. Jesus. Dude, what if we're just reading too much into it? Because remember, he's like, I'm going to defile you. Maybe he just meant, like, you're dirty. And <laughs> we need to clean your act up. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Totally. I that's don't want, think believe. so. Watch yeah. this plot twist, guys. Uh, what the First captain, eye patch, captain eye patch, Joker, Burns. Burns, thank you. Oh, I like that. And uh Benny Maru, I bet you they're right underneath these guys, and then they're gonna pop through and be like, Oh, what's going on? Oh my gosh. Shinra and smoke. Oh, by the way, I forgot. This character, total ripoff of Gara. Do you guys not agree? Yeah, yeah, no, that's what that's <laughs> my boss can't you. I can sense your senses with my black smoke. And I, yep. can, I was like, dude, like, this is Rock Lee and uh, Gar. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> uh, the only thing is he can form, you know, weapons out of his smoke. Could Gar do that? Gar could Gar, probably do it, but he's Gar not going to do it. Yeah, if he wanted to, but, yeah. you know, he doesn't need that shit. He, doesn't he was ranged. He was, he was a ranged. At the end of this, he becomes a good guy, and he carries his black hand like a vase. He's like, oh, yeah, guys. <laughs> Uh, you can call me Gara. <laughs> Way to cover up the fact. I kind of just said Gary. Gary of the Sand. Gary of the Sand. Those good old Americanized Naruto names that should have, <laughs> but never were. That should have been taken. Yeah, Horrible. but I mean, I, I think story wise, it's still moving along at a good rate. It's interesting. I, am, I still don't know what happened. Yeah. yeah. Fire Force is in a good streak right now, and will they mm. keep it going? That's the question of Fire Force all the time. Right. Yep. I mean, as long as it's like it's like in the main arc, because it seems like when it hits that arc, it's like uh, they're they're usually pretty steady. But then once like that arc finishes, like you don't know what that next episode's gonna be, or uh, next episode or two, whichever, until it actually hits like kind of like the main kind of stride for this for the sh- uh, for the story. Oh, dude, I can't wait to, if they do what One Piece does, because One Piece always has their characters split apart, and then they face different enemies. Like Luffy always faces the boss, and then. 
Zoro and the other space, the other uh, like underlings of the boss. Uh, the show, watch, they're going to throw us off. It's going to be like, ah, I'll attack you with the smoke. Meanwhile, they've gone back to China and here's Vulcan. Yeah. Just wait. That's what's going to happen. Okay. I mean, they, right. could do, they could do that in the facility because it looks pretty big. So. They could easily break out and break yeah, out in different rooms trying to find them. Like the, the cult people. Like, maybe try that again. Ah, uh, yes, with the weird haircuts. Yeah. Dude, they should do an homage to Metal Gear Solid because one of the rooms opens up to just naked Raiden running around. And they're like, what? What's going on? And then just go back to the show. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay. Ah, more fan service, oh. I see. Sure. Yes, in in the good way. We're, we're done with the girl fan service. Let's get some naked Raiden on there. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm good on that. You know? come, come on, bro. You don't want any more of those, uh, those, those calendars? I'm going to leave it all for you guys. You know, I'm not a greedy man. I know when to share. <laughs> Touche. So, it's okay. That's fair. Yeah. I got another else for you. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So exciting start to another, I guess, like another arc. I don't know how long this will last, but it's pretty good. So let's give it for yeah. Gary. Fire Force. Um, we're moving on to the next show, <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen. Did you watch this, Sash? Yeah. I did. I watched okay. it. So. Get everyone in for Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I'll just say that, like, when I, when I saw the first episode, it was, I, I don't know, it was, it was, I imagine it was very, very typical Shonen Jump show. Had, like, all, like, the things I expected, but I, I was still excited, so I'm gonna keep watching this. Like, what's going so, I thought what's it was going the, so far? I thought it was strong. Yeah, I thought it was a strong episode. It, I thought it was very typical, so. I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see this. I mean, they're not, they're not really doing anything that's, like, like out of the ordinary, it's it's very cliché. Just like when I was watching, I was like, "Oh, I could totally tell this is Shonen Jump." Yeah. Mm. yeah, I will say, first scene had me interested with Blind Guy, and I was like, "Oh, okay, this seems unique because I don't remember ever seeing this room filled with random, uh, what do you call them, scraps of paper the and talisman, scrolls." I think talisman. Yep, I was like, "Oh, that's cool," and then. Uh, and then it goes for the humor, and I just, uh, I was just like, "Wow, can we just get the story moving along here? This is, this is not re- like resonating with me whatsoever." Hmm. And then the episode kind of got interesting, but it honestly, it, it reminds me a little bit of Demon Slayer because you have that naive main character who's helping out his friends. Except in Demon Slayer's case, he came back to his village to see his, you know, whole family brutally murdered by demons. Whereas this guy has like two friends from school that are brutally getting murdered by uh demons if you will Mm -hmm. and then this like wise stoic guy shows up he's like come on man blah 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 um you know so if i could put the episode in the thirds i'd say first third interesting second third pretty boring and then final third predictable but decent um but overall i wouldn't say there's enough interest in me in this show from me to watch the follow-ups if you guys say it's pretty awesome by episode three i might tune back in but as of right now, it just feels kind of generic. It took, it took a while okay. for that last part to like to get going, and even then, it's like the most exciting part was the end when he swallowed the finger because he finally gets the powers. But like, yeah, yeah, finally, like, guys, it was it was one episode. I, I thought they kind of <laughs> oversold that though because he's like one in a million, one in what are the ch- oh my god again it sh- happened typical hey, guys, it happened. It, it, they shouldn't have said that because obviously like he had some sort of other abilities or power i mean this guy's basically throwing uh throwing those shot put balls like it's a yeah, fucking that's uh, the other thing, thing i was gonna say too like they he's definitely like has something hidden where he's doing yeah. all these world records for a high school student before he even gets any powers so Man, I feel super basic right now. I really like the episode. <laughs> I, I, I like the whole way through. I thought the, like the humor hit well for me. I, I thought like it was the characters. I mean, some of the like the main MC's like design is pretty uninspired, but like short of that, I mean, I liked all the personalities. I, I've laughed a couple times, which is rare for me in this type of show. <laughs> and um, I I don't know. I probably haven't watched as many shonens though. I mean, like because I, I was like thinking about it afterwards, and I was like, oh, I, I agree with Sasha. I was like, oh, this kind of reminds me of Demon Slayer. But I liked Demon Slayer a lot, so, you know, I mean that in a positive way. And then I've watched, like, FMA, and I think those are, like, the two big shonens I've watched. So I didn't grow up watching Naruto and Dragon Ball and stuff like everybody else did. So there could very well be some super basic repetitive stuff that happens in this that I don't, I just don't know. Uh, there was, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. It's yeah. just the feel of the show. Like, <laughs> like the like I said, the first scene was so intense, and I was like, yes, I like I like when shows just pick up. Like I'm watching Parasite for the first time. That yes. first episode, I was like, oh my gosh, this just gets you. Death Note is another one, right? Guy in high school, notebook drops out. Guy has a heart attack on TV. So well done. Demon Slayer. Guy's in the woods. He's a pretty lame guy, but his whole family gets brutally murdered, and then he has to fight a guy with just his axe. Pretty entertaining. Hey, man, there's this finger that they're wrapping, and if they unwrap it, they're going <laughs> to die. Which, by the way, like the little details stick out to me in Shonen. So, for example, when he's like, I got to go save my friends, and this guy's like, your friends are probably dead. It would have hit way harder if those if friends they were, were dead. dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In instead, they show that one guy, and he's got that eel thing on his face, just like gnawing at his brain. And I'm like, that guy's gone for sure. And they're like, oh, yeah, he's fine, guys. <laughs> we just put some icy hot on that. He's good. <laughs> I can I agree with you there. That was kind of I mean I thought maybe okay fine save the girl, but let the guy die because that definitely seemed pretty extreme. Well, that's fucked up. Why does the guy have to die? <laughs> because the sorry, I thing was on. I was his brain matter. With anime guys, you could be saved. All right, come on, it's twenty twenty. <laughs> that's some <laughs> fucked up shit right there. We need more among writers here because you know that girl would have definitely died. <laughs> <laughs> Brills before hoes. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Dude, the the one part of the show that I felt bad about laughing about, I okay when he was talking to his grandpa and like his grandpa said something and they kind of just he just turned or, like turned away and he just said that stuff. I thought it was gonna be one of those like you know comedy moments because they, they you know, started with comedy. So I started laughing. Oh my god! And then he didn't wake up. And I'm like, oh shit, is this actually a serious moment? And they cut out, then they cut to him talking to the, the front desk. Like, oh fuck! Now I feel bad. <laughs> Grandpa? Grandpa? <laughs> yeah. no. I, I thought it was going to be one of those moments because he was just talking about how, like, oh, don't say that shit. Like, basically, like, thinking, like, you're going to die and all this other stuff. So I thought they were basically setting for that, they're setting that up for it. And then, uh, that was dead wrong. Yeah. And then I, you know, I felt a little bit bad. That's the one part that I, uh, cracked up that I, I will say, crack, though, bad, like, um, up. the main guy, I at least like his personality because even though he's kind of an oh, idiot, awesome. like, he's a go getter. So, like, I'm not going to be frustrated by him, like, not doing anything or, like, just, like, hesitating. So at least there's that. Like I'm sorry. Is he an idiot? Like was it, were we supposed to think he was an idiot? Like I thought he was just supposed no, to be ignorant, I don't think he's really. I, yeah, I think he's just more ignorant, more of a free spirit. Free spirit. Uh, but, like that, yeah. yeah Not like I, I don't think he's an idiot, no. Dude, for some reason like also watching this, I got like just weird like when like they call him curses, but at the same time I just kept thinking like mob psycho where it's just like where they have just like, like random monsters that they have to like uh uh it was exercise. I mean, um, it might might be probably the same category, like like those yokais and stuff. So well, also the one, also the one dude with the two walls. For some reason, I kept thinking, I kept like thinking of him of, of like either the the guy that has like this like the summoner from Mob Psycho, like he like uh, or not the summoner. Uh, he's like the guy that like you know, um controls monsters or like is it tamer tames them or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Like I kept thinking like they, for some reason I was like damn that looks like him, but uh, I you know definitely completely wrong. Um, also. Oh god, what else was it? No, but everything about the MC I thought was awesome. Like even like when they were basically like uh just like the parts where like when he for, when that when after he eats the finger, the dude takes over and he basically just like easily just kinda like overpowers him and they kinda just keep switching it back and forth to like one side of the face and then like the other side of the face and they're having like just a conversation, just like this the facial expressions. Mm -hmm. I, I I thought it was I thought it was hilarious. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean I think this show definitely has potential. Yeah. Um and like the the MC is fairly unique. Right, mm -hmm. he's a free spirited, strong guy. So obviously, he has his weaknesses. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess with Sasha, we'll, we'll kind of have to see. I'll give it three or four episodes and see where it goes. But I think it's going in a good direction so far. The show is twenty four episodes too. Like they announced, it was going to be twenty four. Oh, what the fuck! Really? So we have a chance. Then they're going to have that weird. Okay, because this demon is probably from like what ten thousand years ago. He's like, oh, the women, blah blah. Guarantee you, they're gonna do what they do in every movie slash show. Like, think about Thor. He's like, I want more coffee, and then like just throws the coffee mug down, and it shatters everywhere as he's in Denny's. I think they're gonna for <laughs> sure have a scene where this guy's trying to eat something. He's like, what the fuck are these chopsticks? And he's like, you gotta use them like this, bro. Watch, I guarantee you, it's um, gonna happen. I think, I think so. Yeah. I thought. I thought. I was just thinking that like it's just gonna be an evil like. Like an evil being, he's just gotta keep locked up until he eventually like overpowers later. That's why I think the show's gotta go into Nine Tails. Sorry, like that. Yeah. Uh, not... Taylor, were you, were, sorry, were you gonna say something? Say a couple of the smaller things that stuck out for me that may or may not have stuck out for you guys, but I liked 
the pacing of the episode. It was really fast paced, I felt like, um, just the way they talked, like how much dialogue they went through. Like, I felt like it was a little bit, I mean, I'm coming off of watching a couple slices of life here. So <laughs> for me, it definitely felt like um, faster than that, which was nice. Um, and I also enjoyed the sound effects of the curses. I thought that like the sound design they did for those was pretty decent. I'm not going to go so far as to say that I found it like creepy because it takes quite a bit to creep me out, but it could get there. I could see some stuff coming up in the future that could be. Um, and I thought just the overall art design was pretty cool. I liked it. I thought it looked mm. really, um, I thought it looked pretty fresh. I thought it looked really good. So those are the things that I liked about it that did make it stand out a little bit more that would make me more interested than just like an average shonen. Actually, I was gonna mention that. I was gonna mention that too. How like I felt like it should have went more towards the creepy direction. I think it would be yeah. more unique. It felt like that's why, like, yeah, it felt so much more shonen, like with all the action and mm -hmm. the tone. Like, I think there were some parts where it was pulling off, but I think yeah, it definitely should have went more the creepy factor. I think that would have made it stronger. Totally agree, and that's what I'm. I'm hoping it will lean into that more. Uh, I think it's got to be more action but oriented. I know, well, I with, know. But the animation, Shonen. though, I mean, it, it could do a lot of. I mean, we'll see where it goes because I mean, the animation's top notch. I mean, I think it's just a fall. The, the truly line. creepy not, not stuff man. goes to dark places. Like if it's gonna be truly creepy, it has to. Well, be not truly creepy. Darker, but, like that. it could still be. I don't know. I was getting some creepy uh, vibes, but it's not gonna be that like creepy. Especially yeah, since it's tanked as the shonen, I doubt it's going to be that way. Isn't, isn't shonen yeah. jump? Yeah, so it's it's right. So I doubt it. Apart, man, that's all you got to do. Like Ryuk from Death Note. Death Note itself is not that creepy of a show, but just Ryuk in his bedroom with his eyes looking completely opposite directions. I was like, <laughs> oh my god, man, you got to get those fixed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, uh, I mean, I don't something creeps out when you're a kid doesn't count, sir. Hey, man, <laughs> that, that still creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Um I, the one thing I will say is I thought the uh the action was definitely good. For me, the design of the monsters was just a little bit too like uh what's that? What's the guy from League of Legends? Is it Kogma? Kogma? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looked too much like him where it was just like this slimy fat blob. I don't know. I I, I like these creatures. Really? That's like, what came to mind? I yeah. Honestly, it did. It, it, it just reminded me of that blobfish, that really ugly one that's always on the internet. That's a meme where it looks like a droopy oh, nose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it basically looks like someone cracked an egg and just let it droop all over. Um, <laughs> just left it. Yep. Uh, so I was okay. just like, eh, you know, I, I kind of wanted something a little bit more drastic. I think Lex Redden had mentioned, you watch Mob Psycho and the designs for all of the um, curses, for lack of better terms, are so different. And I'm like, oh, man, that's so cool to see these. And then here, it just kind of got what I expected. So I was hoping for something a little bit crazier. Because, for example, I think the character designs are cool, but I especially like him when he turns into Juju Kaiser Permanente at the end. And he has the <laughs> tattoos on his body. It actually reminds me of uh, one of the... I forgot what they're called. I already forgot what they're called. One of the main demons from uh, Demon Slayer. But I won't say which one. Okay. Jeez. To be fair, though, I mean, it is episode one. So, I mean, maybe they don't want to come out of the gate with, like, the best design or, like, the strongest design or whatever. Maybe they want fair. to work their way up to it. Point of the, taken. Of the, show, <laughs> of the shows I'm watching this season, though, so far, I, I guess I haven't really kind of... I think I still have a few more I'll be trying out this season. But uh, besides Fire Force, this is, like, the next one, like, I'm kind of, like, hyped for. Just because, like, the other ones I'm watching where they have, where they have like, a you know, second season or a third season or fourth, whatever it is. Like they've they've been fairly disappointing, and uh, I can't really say I'm as hyped about them. And one of those shows we'll be talking about next, or no, actually, wait, wait actually, never mind. Maybe it might be a little bit later. <laughs> That's but... right. No, you're right. What's next, David? Uh, I'm mostly thinking about Higurashi next. That's why I do Damachi. So do Higurashi. Okay. Can get that one out of the way. So... I, I, honestly, are you guys done with uh, um, anything? Uh, last thoughts about Jujutsu Kaisen? So despite how like. How sh the wild the shonen mm. tropes there is. I'm still I am still excited for the show, so I'll definitely be watching every week, and hopefully you'll, um, hopefully you'll get good. It's uh, this is anime by Ma Mappa, so hopefully we see the good animations with an actual good story this time. So, well, with tw they have, with 24 episodes, I mean, like this is the problem we kept saying that was with Tower of God, God of High School. Like, it, I feel like it, like if they had like the if they had like if they stopped at the same point, um, I think like uh. But with 24 episodes, we would have definitely got a lot more of the character development, like backstories, 
and actually feel like attached to characters. So hopefully that's what happens here. Hopefully it just doesn't decide to speed run through 24 episodes instead, yeah. which would make it terrible. I don't think it will. But I don't know if I can sit through 24 episodes of something that potentially turns out to be a seven. It just seems, eh. That's I will, I'll be honest with you guys. I started Attack on Titan and I started Golden Kamui. Both those first episodes were, oof, straight fire. Uh, the CGI in Golden Kamui wasn't straight fire, but the storytelling <laughs> was really good. I mean, so, yeah, that's fine. If you want to catch up with those, those are good shows to binge on. So at least you have a sure thing to watch instead of having to guess every week. Hey, you'll make it. Uh, you'll make it in time for uh, was it Attack on Titan in season, December season uh, that's final what's final up. season that's the game plan. Yep. Right. Anything else? I think <laughs> that really. like, they'll wrap up Jujutsu Kaisen. So. Aaron's mom. No. <laughs> and yes, and, 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 and Attack on Titan right there. Yeah. So that's gonna Bro. be it for uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, Mura move next to uh, Vigarashi. Um, when they cry. When they cry, yes. So this is the so I think yeah, it's the reboot of the original series that came out in the mid two thousands. Um I didn't watch the original. Did you finish it, Taylor? I did. Okay, so Taylor has seen the she watched the original before this aired. I've only seen the first episode of the reboot. So I guess I'll give my thoughts first that um like just uh this a lot so the normal slice of life part it feels very like mid 2000 anime it feels like i've seen <laughs> this like way back like 10 15 years ago so it was interesting seeing like kind of the throwbacks to like the older style of anime even though i say older mid 2000s but like you know older style but then like there's so many like creepy moments in this episode like when like everyone is like like hiding what they know like when all when when reina and was it um shinon they're they're they keep hiding like and they do like the close-up i'm like oh my god like why is it so creepy like i feel so creeped out every time you do that and they're I, totally they did that so well <laughs> I, I feel so creeped out when you do that and then like when they're in like that junkyard with in the dam and like man this feels so creepy why am i so creep that's <laughs> that's just what i kept thinking this whole episode like why am i so creeped out like this atmosphere <laughs> is creeping me out even though i, I kind of know what's gonna happen but Man, especially because, like, the crazy thing about it, too, I love Higurashi. I'm sorry, I'm a huge nerd for Higurashi, so I, I'm going to go off a little bit. But, like, it, it's weird, too, because, like, it was a very colorful episode. You know what I mean? Like, it does not look dark it at all. It was colorful, but, and, like, just the slice of life part seems so normal. Like, again, I feel like, yeah. it felt like, like a mid-2000s, like, like rom-com or something, or comedy. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the, the tonal shifts, like, they were very deliberate, but, like, like usually like it's either hit or miss for tonal shifts but this one like it was so like on point of like how creepy the shifts were mm -hmm. it was kind of it kind of reminded me of like turning a page in a horror manga the way that it happened like it was very much like normal you turn the page and it's like whoa okay that's super creepy it's it, that's what it reminded me of and it was done slightly different than um the original anime okay. like the animation, it's funny that you say it's kind of like a throwback to old style because I was reading through everybody's reactions to this this new season and they're like, this looks so new and fresh compared to the old one. Um, I don't know, it's just, but it, it just they, reminds me yeah, of like mid-2000s. Like a lot of like the, oh, for sure. the romance stuff I used to watch back then. Like it just reminds me a lot of that, yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, those creepy moments were done slightly differently than the original. I think it'd be, you might find it interesting to check it out. Like once the season is over, will. just to see how they did those things. Cause you, you can tell me what, I, like, it took me back. What, like what happened? So in that first episode of the old show, like, is it like it's very same similar? stuff? Okay. So it's very similar. They didn't really change much of the scenes. It was the same stuff. Oh, um, okay. the only thing that I, I actually felt like it, like for the most part, I felt like it established relationships between the characters a lot better. The only thing I was confused by was, you know, in the original he it, it, for, from what I remember, um, he'd been gone for like a while and just recently come back. Oh. And so the original was kind of creepier to me because he really didn't know these people that well okay. at all. Or at least that's the impression that it gave. I mean, technically in both seasons, he was gone and came back. But it seems like he's been here for a little while longer and has his social patterns set up more. So that was surprising to me. But I mean, it should be fine. It should, I'm probably just being nitpicky at that point. Um, so this, oh, what is, God, it's just 
Um, I, was like, I was just so excited for you. I don't know what to say about it. It was just I so know, good. And I I'm saw very excited. The, <laughs> I know the scene about the the knife where the the girl, I don't know, like the girl was stabbing herself. I saw because there's like a bunch of YouTube videos where it's like, um, where they say like, creepiest moments or like, most fucked up moments in anime, or whatever. And this was mm-hmm. Higurashi always made it the list, so I I kept seeing scenes <laughs> from it. So I know there's one part where like where I think Shinon just stabbed herself in the knife or whatever, and someone starts laughing maniacally i know that part happens but just even get getting to there it's like this first episode like wow like this it really creeped me out like it's then, gonna it's gonna be even more like that it seems like he's doing a they're doing a very good job of setting up the right atmosphere because honestly the atmosphere of Higurashi is one of the main characters like it, yeah. it's just like that was always part of what made it so creepy as you like unpeel each layer of like what's going on and why people are doing what they're doing it just gets progressively creepier and creepier so like god that just that ending scene too or like like Re- like rena was ra acting sketch and then like you just have the ending <laughs> with um i think god, who was rika i think yeah rika where she's just like <laughs> rika staring out at like because it's already like rena's already like has like the axe machete thing and then like rika's behind her is like wait what <laughs> And so, like, <laughs> oh my god! And then also, I I, I remember too the um, I remember the people saying, or someone we were saying how, uh, all I think all the main casts like are doing the same roles again. So it's very strange that like, like the same voice actors can sound very similar to what they did like back then. I guess there must be differences, but like, like the young like the young girls still sound like very high pitched, like very anime. And mm-hmm. it's again, it's just like that tonal shift. Like it sounds very very anime until like it just gets creepy so yeah i'm not sure it's been a while since i watched the original it, to me it sounded like they felt a little bit more like intense like more lolly sounding especially like the two yeah. kids you know it sounded more intense to me but i might have very well have felt that way on the first viewing too i mean that's just like not something i normally seek out in anime so it definitely like, sticks out to me um the character design was okay for most of them but like the main I, I always get Rika and Raina. I think Raina's the one that has, the it's orange, like with the orange hair. And I think yeah. Rika's blue, yeah. Blue hair. Yeah. Rika looks so different and that really threw me off. She looks so significantly different from the from the original, but Okay. I mean, really the animation in both of them was nothing that exciting. Like nothing to write home about. It was all about the atmosphere and the acting and the writing. So it's fine either way. Yeah. But speaking of like things that came back from the old one, at the very ending when they played the opening song. It's the same song oh, from the original. Is it? Okay, I didn't know that. It is. They just revamped it a little bit, and like, it seems like everybody's pretty excited about it. I know I was. I support that decision. Um, after that, that <laughs> the episode ended, I knew, I had to rewind to the beginning because like, because I didn't realize it was like it was the the same guy like hitting all the girls. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just looking at that, yeah. And um, I don't. I know it's because I think yeah, I think the original was a visual novel, so I don't know if it's gonna be mm-hmm. like a complete story or whether I do like different routes, like we're gonna reset it or anything, for like different endings or not. So I'll just have to wait and see. What I understand, the first three—I can't remember if there was three or four seasons. I watched two, and those followed the like main plot of the visual novel. And then I believe if there were two seasons, then the second two, um, went off on like different routes. I believe, and I never watched those because people said that they were pretty nonsensical and. Okay. So yeah, I don't Did know. Did it seem as good? So. So I don't know if it's gotta like uh, reset the route or anything and do a different ending, but we'll see. I'm. Just... Yeah. So. So I knew. Maybe they'll pull like a Final Fantasy VII, and we think this is a reboot, oh, but my... really something's oh, different. Oh god, we don't need to bring that in here. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I can see why like people. I'm already already enjoying, the show. I can see why people, um, people, really like it this because this was like this was back in mid 2002 so once you finish your usual animes or your once you finish you know like your dvz your naruto's and like your full metal Alchemist, you need like, another show to watch I, this is like the other one to see like where people like really start to branch off into the anime so it's nice to mm-hmm. see a classic gang yep com- or coming back i guess so totally agree i'm su- this is definitely like probably like my number one hype for the season i'm i'm very excited about it but yeah. yeah, that's all I've got for yeah. this first episode. Yeah, so I guess that'll be it for Hirashi. More surprises coming later. <laughs> more more <laughs> fucked up moments for sure. And, ah, oh God, just, man, that atmosphere. I'm so creeped out. Can't, can't wait. I am here for it. Oh, God. So that's it for Hirashi. <laughs> um, remember we're next to Damachi, season three. 
Yes. Oh, man. Um, so... <laughs> I can't wait for Stratton to keep ranting about JC staff and their agitations. I should actually, actually, okay. I, I should ask: did, it, did any of the stuff that happened in season three did, did it happen in the mobile game, or is this all new to you guys? We we stopped playing right, the mobile game a while ago. ago. Well, well, never mind then. So maybe uh, maybe I won't I won't like dislike this season as much just because like I don't play the mo or the the mobile game anymore. Where the mobile game was filling in like all those holes. Where mm -hmm. the story, like, where the movie was way better that was that was done way better in the mobile game than what we saw in the movie itself, yeah. which is just like which was just uh, so, kind of a. So I remember the last episode of season two, they introduced the the dragon, the the girl, whatever, the, the new girl. I think that's like where we left off, and I guess that's just where we're picking up right up is just finding her in like the dungeon. Yeah, I I kind of wish they would have actually kind of started like because they they kind of just jumped to it instead of just like setting it up to like how they got there. It, like it we kind of pretty just... much like right after season two, like the very last episode. So, but I thought she was in the. I thought they found her in the. No, no, no. She uh, Belle did not find her in the dungeon. She just fell from like in the dungeon, right? She, like she just kind of fell I, out of the wall. I just remember she was okay. at. She was like the very last like scene in the the season two ending. I don't yeah. remember before that though. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it ended like with her just falling like out, off out of the side of the wall. Yeah. And then because uh, at first like when I saw the episode, I'm like, wait, like didn't Bell find her? In? And then I kind of thought back. I was like, wait, wait, no, I'm I'm pretty sure it was just her that kind of fell and she just had no clue where she was. Yeah. Uh, and then time skip to to yeah. now. But I'm so. guessing though they're going to fill those. I'm I'm hoping that they fill those voids like where they kind of just fill in those gaps where. Like how she got there, like like kind of like what's I'm sure we'll get more backstory as to like why monsters hate like or like why humans hate monsters and like and, like basically Dude, God just they, gave up when on they them. First at that, I thought they meant like like the demi humans. I thought like wait, aren't there already like other races? What is why are monsters? But then I realized I realized right. well, it was dungeons. Yeah, so but they're gonna have to, like do the thing where like oh like I don't know whoever set up the dungeon system like made it in a way to just like was. Just, where I don't know, just some more backstories of why, like, oh, we shouldn't actually kill monsters for gold and XP because it's actually really bad. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, well, they made it sound like yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, if, if anything from the mobile game, uh, we do get that um, the original hero Argonaut, uh, we had to save the kingdom. He did have to fight this like ox king or ox monster. And at the end of their fight, uh, there was some kind of mutual like respect for each other. Like uh, I don't know if the the Ox King felt the same way towards Argonaut, but Argonaut felt some kind of respect towards the Ox King when he was about to kill him. So maybe they're trying to revert back to that. But I don't think I don't know if that's canon or not. But it, that does seem to be like the, the the story or like the the main focus of this season, like monsters and like humans coexisting. But it's, it's weird because, like, the humans, humans and the demi-humans, like, the other races, they have, like, the gods to, like, to support them and help them, whereas, like, it seems like the monsters are right. on their own, so I, I don't know what's going on with that, like, or if, if, like, I don't know, if maybe there's, like, some, like, maybe, like, because the gods are maybe, like, in heaven, maybe there's, like, some, like, demon or, or sane, whatever, that to fight against, that they, that the uh -huh. monsters worship up, or maybe it's, like, more, like, the two factions, I mean, it's a possibility, but at this point, it's all just speculation, I'd say. Yeah. But did um, you do the opening? Is that the ending? But Right, right. The opening is what kind of threw me off, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it does showcase that he has a, like, a monster pack crew. of yeah. monster crew, in a sense. Again, so more spoilers and openings. Yeah, I, I thought it looked pretty cool. I don't know. So, that's just, that's just my thought, is going to this arc. is like, it's so weird how, yeah, like, humans and demi-humans have so much support from the gods. And now we're just gotta look at the backstories from the monsters. So, I'm hoping... well, maybe there's something going on in the background too, because yeah. even the uh, like the the guild leader or Orano, whatever, uh, he did mention that maybe Bell is the key to like tying everything together or something. The, about the guy in the the, the, guy. the throne, right? He's is he? Yeah, oh, yeah. He, so he's the, okay. I never knew like what he was like. Or what was his role in this whole story? So, are we talking about Uranos? Uranos? Yeah. Uranos, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I forgot what he was like, or what what is his role like in this whole story? Yeah, I believe he's a guild leader. Okay, isn't he a god? I'm pretty sure he's a god, right? No, they're they're all gods. Yeah. Okay. He, he's he's the guild leader of the the city. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, of the city. Hmm. I see. Uh, it's a uh, okay, What was it? Like with the I'm a, like I I just kind of got the feeling like you know like where they they kind of think like monsters are extinct. 
Like, are they past? Like, okay, so I know they're on floor nineteen, mm-hmm. right? I think they were on nineteen. Like Have they? Um, what's like the? Do you guys remember like what's the furthest floor like anybody's gotten? I don't. Know I assume that. it's ago. I can't remember what like what it was. Though. I don't remember. And also, but, the way they talk about floors is so. Because they're going, it's really weird. are they going under? Yeah. They're going on the ground, right? Because it's a, it's a huge tower, but it, like they always talk about they're going underground. So that's they're going underground. Throws yeah. me off the most. So. Dude, the, the tower, tower man, it's the elevator to you know to, yeah, to the guys. Like, so like you, you have this, you build this huge tower, but you keep going underground. So yeah, um, yeah, no, that's that's a tricky one. Um, <laughs> so. You know, guys, maybe it's an inverted tower. Like, maybe, like, inside the tower, you there's a different dimension. Like so, going flip. up means going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and maybe going up actually means you going down. So, okay. So, who, who really knows? Because they are, in a sense, ascending. I forget what the whole point of the tower was, but it, it's in a point, it's supposed to take him to heaven, I guess. So, oh, is it, I was just kidding, I, but I had I, no idea. I don't remember much of the lore. I just know. I just been focused on Bell. Like, I want to know what's up with Bell and, like, his, like, backstory. I mean, we know he's, like, you know, grandson of Zeus and whatever. And right, so I mean, right. I'm mainly focused on Belle and like and Freya. Like, so I'm hoping we see more Freya in this season because, like, because she's like the one pushing Belle. <laughs> why, why are you interested in Freya, David? Because she's like the main Dude, villain. Why is he not? Okay, so, like, right, yeah, right. she's like she's like the one pushing Belle to do all this. Do we, so. do we know if, she, if she's a villain or just maybe like an anti hero? Well, she has her own wit, okay, her own, like, uh, antagon- her own I'll say antagonist. Then she's all right, all right, we'll take that. She's the one that like that keeps pushing Belle to unlock his more of his powers, and she's the one that like. Yeah, that like basically set up like the first the, the first season with like the Minotaur coming loose, and then and also she she intervened too last season with like against um the other the other chick I forgot her, the other forgot the other god's name that was like uh the head of, um hero Haruhime and the other the other chick like she was like the god of like pleasure or whatever yeah. I, I forgot her name. Yeah. Like I was. If we were Ishtar. still playing Ishtar. Mobile Ishtar. 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 That's what her name was. Yes. Yeah. Because um, I, I went hard for her in the game, but <laughs> I, it's, it's been a while, so I forgot. Yeah, so it's Ishtar. Yeah. So she's she's been like intervening a lot against like so last season was against Ishtar, uh, and then like. So. So Do I. Do you know how many I, episodes? I think Sorry, it's like twelve or thirteen, like it usually is. Oh God. Okay. I was surprised that this Thursday was announced because it just it felt like it came out of nowhere. I didn't. It, it felt like it was announced like way later after season two ended, and it was no, no, it, it was it was announced, but those 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 in the game there was a timeline that they gave, and then after the OVA was announced, I believe they announced the launch of season three as well. Okay. Yeah, I do remember. Yep. Well, the, well, the OVA came out, I think, what January? It was like right before COVID all happened. Yeah, January, right, I believe. And then right. summer, it was supposed to come out in summer, but now like it's out now, so. Which is fine. Uh, but I didn't actually entirely hate this episode. Uh, I, I'm actually kind of interested. Like, I'm, I'm really hoping they don't skip much. I think I, 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 I'm, I, I'm still gonna hold true that I'm not gonna hate. I'm not gonna dislike it as much as they did season two, just because I'm not playing the mo- the mobile game anymore. But we need so I don't need know what's rants. happening. Stren, we started this. We started the podcast <sighs> before she, right be, right Dude, after season two aired. So I know, man. So I know we, we miss all your rants. We need to make up for it in this one. I need to hear how much you, you hate uh, JC staff. Okay. My rant's gonna be with Haikyuu this season. Oh god! You know, it's, it's more of like it, you know, it's nice if I'm just blinded by it. I don't realize, you know, if how much I'm missing. And until one day, I finally decided to read or read or catch up to light novels or read the manga because uh, I believe there's a manga for this as well. There is, but it's original light uh, novel. And then, right. So maybe then I could get to that point, and then I, um, then I can basically be like, wait, the, the anime missed so much shit, and then I can basically start hating JC stuff <laughs> because I, I feel like this show, like like it could be. So 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 good if it wasn't if if just somebody else had a hold of this besides jc's death so so good like i think i don't know it's not not so so good but it could have been could have been a lot better i mean like Like, i I wish there was more like more either action scenes or more emotional scenes dude okay so so, i feel like we're we've been missing that a lot if if, if you played the mobile game you would realize how much shit they cut out like it's (laughs) Like they cut out like in, like just giant arcs. Okay, so I, like, should, I guess uh, you're blaming the anime then. Yeah, the anime. Or I shouldn't seen... say. Yeah, actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it with arcs because like the oh god the what was it the lady like the cat lady, where in in like in the second season like they didn't didn't even really introduce her. They just kind of like, she just kind of walked in there like we already knew who she was, but like the only like real reason why like me and Ku knew who she was was be- was because of the mobile game, <laughs> and the same thing with like the god was a god of war where I mean they, he had like what one episode. 
where I feel like uh, oh, that Ares, definitely yeah. see yeah Aries, where it seemed like it should have been way more than one episode or two, one and a half, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one though, it's more of like the only kind of like thing that I had kind of against it was just kind of like uh, wondering like how like how like they got in the situation where they were where you know where he was able to find uh, oh god the monster girl I already forgot her name. Um, but like that's the only thing. But that, uh, that could easily be fixed. This episode. Yeah, it's like which lean, I mean, could you, like W I E N E Wien or something. Yeah, it's, it, like we'll, Wiener, we'll say Yeah, we'll, we'll say Wien. <laughs> and then Wien, uh, yeah. yeah, that was the one thing that I was kind of like, uh, kind of wishing they would have went more into depth with. But then it, it could easily be fixed. They could easily just say like, you know, why were you there? Like, what do you remember? Or something like that. Because like, I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah, um, I am interested what they're doing so far. I I do like how like they're making us question like, you know. Like everything we've been doing to the monsters, like like it, they make us question like, oh, we might have just done a bad thing, so. Yeah, hey, that'd be fine. And then I, so yeah, so I'm interested to see where they go with the arc, and then based on the opening, if they actually, I actually do like how they have more monsters getting intelligent. So it's not because it's usually it's it's usually always like one one person getting the intelligence, but if they actually have multiple people actually like that, I think it would be like interesting story wise if they do that. Yeah, and we see, I and feel we like see more like, less more like that. The, the story in the lore yeah i like i feel like they're gonna find them like they're gonna get to a they're gonna get to a floor or like a like a specific part on a floor where like they've been in hiding or like a majority of them have been in hiding i don't know it's been uh, something it's, like that it sounds like it's like a recent thing like it sounds like she might have been the first but i think like there's gonna be more monsters oh gotcha, that recently yeah. get intelligence i think something else is causing them to get their their their, their consciousness back I am more interested in like their in his like monster posse than I am like his current team. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know why. Like, <laughs> gotta have more monster girls. <laughs> no, no, but there, there were no monster girls though. Like in that like in that opening, like it, it looked Maybe. like they were just they were just monsters. Like it was just a monster uh, crew. It had like sure, a sure. guy, it had I a bird. Or sure, I still like the blacksmith and Mikoto. So, oh yeah, Mikoto is like my favorite of of the group. Uh the black um or uh. I don't even remember his name. Yeah, that's but the blacksmith guy, meh. Yeah, yeah I still love him. And, but then, but then Lily, yeah. Eh, I never don't really care. Lily. No, but these ones I'm interested in. But I, I would, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to actually see them and just kind of how it. I mean, I'm just be. saying, like going back to Damachi in general, like, so if we're not gonna do more of the emotional like scenes or more action. I wish there was more focus on the lore because I'm, I'm really, yeah. interested, I'm, I guess that's why I focus, I focus a lot on Bell and Freya because I just want to know more about Bell. I want to know like why Freya is so interested. Yeah, I, I guess I, I guess like... because she's my waifu too, but it's because they dated dirty in the 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 site, the spinoff, man. It's just that fucking elf. <laughs> if you really loved her, you would have played the game and get her entire backstory. Yeah, there you go, David. You're missing out, man. I'll eventually um, read the light novels for both the main story and and the side story. I just mm-hmm. feel like this season is going to be like the emotional scene because I feel like when they introduce like this many characters, like how like like uh, where it looked like um. Like Bell's crew, like you know, they're they're all gonna die. There, something's gonna happen where I just feel like they're not gonna make it past this season. I don't know. I don't think it's, it's just that type of show. Uh well, it could be. It could just kind of throw you in. Like a, so, you think there's gonna be that many new people? Like they're gonna just like yes. introduce and like have them all come out Dude, like alive? Light novels. So? Love, it's, it's possible. I mean, love I'm adding on tons of characters that you have to memorize. I, I'm yeah. always okay with that because that's that's my type of shows. Where I, I can basically just like you know, I don't like it when they're all like when they're when they, like, they. I don't like it when there's too much like quantity over quality. Like when there's too many characters to keep track of, and like a lot of them just don't have to be there. I'd rather have like a smaller, smaller cast that's stronger. So I don't like it yeah. when like light novels like pile on characters. Yeah, uh, I mean we'll see. Because from the looks of it, maybe uh, Bell had to run away from the city and stay in a dungeon, and that's where he met up with his master posse. Uh, cause just like how Lily mentioned, like monsters and humans just can't coexist. And with the fact that he's, uh, like protecting like Wiener or Ween, uh, for sure. Everyone that was his ally might become an enemy now. Um, I think it was in the ending too, right? Where it showed Bell and like ice facing off with each other. I mean, in the opening. Yeah. In the opening. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, sure. The only reason is because Bell's going to be ha- like, she was probably like told to like get rid of the monsters and Bell's you know, protecting the monsters. Right. Right. That's really the only thing that's going to happen. But you know, they can't keep it a secret forever. Okay. There's already like, people like investigating this too, yeah. as well. Like, what happens, David, if your wife ends up killing all the monsters? <laughs> then I'd say, well, what are it. your thoughts, man? I'd say, suck it, Shren. Oh my God. 
I'm not coming on the podcast that episode then. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be sick. He's for, for that episode and the review episode. He's calling in sick that day. <laughs> oh yeah, for the whole entire week. I was like, I just lost my family. Oh boy. My my anime family. And then, but I didn't even my waifu, so that's fine. I can just hate her more than. My God. I actually have nothing against her, but still. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Like I'm, I like so far. It's 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 a good, it's a decent start. I just, yeah, I just, because I felt like last season, it just felt like the pacing wasn't good. So it wasn't. Hopefully, like <laughs> it wasn't at all. <laughs> hopefully, this season does it better. I like where we're starting. Hopefully, it maintains. Where I hope it's more consistent. So. Yeah. So yeah, so, so yeah. excited where we sadly where we start. So hopefully, it keeps it that way. Sadly, me and Ku do not continue with the game, so we don't know how bad a pacing it's actually going to be. So <sighs> yeah, I mean but, to be fair, we could enjoy it more. I mean, with season two, I think it started out fine, and then when they brought in the or when it went into an Ishtar uh, arc, that I thought that was kind of like weirdly paced. But uh, yeah, so far with season three, I think it's starting out fairly well. We'll just have to see how they follow up. So so hopefully, it doesn't repeat then season two where it starts off strong and then just. Just, we'll see what JC staff sure, can do. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the pacing problem is because he's cutting out stuff. So yeah, right, and, right. And yes, yeah. and yes, that's like that is a problem with JC staff. So, no. so we've been we've been here many times for the past decade of JC staff. So I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you know the index fans can relate to how much they've cut out stuff. But which is so weird because the first season of Damachi was so solid. Or maybe that's just what we thought. Maybe we overhyped it. Who knows? I think I think you overhyped it, Shen, because probably it was only really the only good part. I mean, the really standout part was the Minotaur fight. Otherwise, it would just been another like, generic show. So what? Yeah. No, like season one was. I think it was fairly. I wouldn't say perfect, but it was really good. They had multiple like scenes. Like he had a fight against that chained up gorilla in the town square. Um, that, was, that was the episode that got me into the show. Yeah, and then those yeah the ox fight or yeah the Minotaur fight, Minotaur and at the, the end one. when he. It was very generic for me until the Minotaur fight. That's right, but I'm, but I'm saying they had a they had like a decent build up. They had a decent amount of action scenes as well, and then the lore was fairly spot on. Like the introduction of all the the cast was, was fairly well done, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think season one it might have been just because it was the first one. Maybe that's why we're setting the bar so high, or the fact that it's like kind of like fresh to us. That's why we thought it was like really good. And then season two, I guess they just couldn't do anything new to us. Uh, or like intrigue us in new ways. Maybe that's why we thought it was kind of bland. But yeah. Anyway, I I, I really don't get much yeah. more. So that's yeah, that's just our thoughts for first episode of Damachi. So we'll see how this season goes. And then um, I guess the next shows. Um, I think those that, that was like the last one we all watched. I guess the next ones are just gonna be the ones that like that we plan on I, watching. I, yeah, yeah, I watch her. I guess you guys can catch up. I guess we'll, a lot of them are my shows, but I'll. I guess I'll pass up to Koo. You want to talk about the the climbing the climbing girl show? Uh, oh, I right. plan on watching Koo this Shred. one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm planning on watching this one. I don't know how much you can really talk about it though. It's what, uh just what, one of my. What's the name of it? Like, climbing sports girls. Yeah. Climbing sports girls. Is that the like little that? name of the show? Iwa Kakeru. But then yeah, it's it's, it's sport like climbing like, girls. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I'll just do that. Yeah. Go close enough. Well, we know what um, you're talking about. But yeah, that's the thing. Though. I don't really like talking about sports anime just because there's really not much to talk about. It's, you're just basically watching it for the like the like the competitive scenes, I guess. Um, it's a guilty I mean, pleasure. Just, just give your yeah. general impression the first episode, then. But what I have never seen this show, Ku. So what would I want to watch this, or what's this all about? Um. Uh, well. Let's just say if you're not into sport animes or competitive high school competitions, uh, probably not because there's nothing groundbreaking. Uh, the cast is fairly generic in a sense. Um, although for this one, I think this is the first sports anime I've seen where the main girl is a gamer girl in a sense, turned into a uh, like athletic uh, character. Um, but it's... It's, it's nothing outstanding. It's nothing crazy original. Uh, it's, it's enjoyable if you like that kind of thing. But yeah, there's really not much to talk about. Though. So the main focus is like the climbing. Like, do they teach you about like how the techniques of climbing then in the first episode at least? Uh, from the looks of it, they will. But they do bring up a lot of terminology that sport climbers will know. Uh, but nothing like no tutorials in a sense. Oh. Does it make you want to 
you know, go climbing. Wait, is it is it the the rock climbing like the gym <laughs> or is it like actual outdoor like cliff climbing? No, like at the gym, like okay. artificial walls. Okay. Oh man, with my boomer ass, hell no. <laughs> you don't want to yeah. get a membership to Virgo Endeavors, friend? Ask me ten years ago. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, if, if you if you like looking at girls, you know, that's always a thumbs up. Or if you just want to watch it for the competitive aspects of like team building and you know stuff like that, it's it's not bad. Uh, but again, it's just episode one, so we won't really know. So I guess this is mainly to appeal to people who already are climbing. Uh, yeah, because yeah, like cause basically, like because I'm right of like um of the dumbbell show where it was actually trying to get people more into it was teaching people working out. I, I'm like those are kind of the sports stuff I lean towards where they teach you about the sport itself, not really the competitive part. Unless I'm right into right. it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're trying to get you into sports climbing, but they just want to like highlight the the, the key points of sports climbing. I'm assuming. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean that's it's, it's whatever. It's like I said, it's okay. Uh, but if you're really not into the whole like competitive sports scene, then I wouldn't really recommend it. Like even from a degenerate point of view, I probably wouldn't watch it, just because of the uh, character designs. Oh, really? What? That's yeah. I mean, they're they're okay, they're okay, but a lot of them are not very like they're not built femininely, right? Like they're fairly well toned, and of course you have to expect it because they're they're very athletic. They're they're climbing walls and shit, so they have to be very um, well built. Built right for this. So I'm I'm okay with that. Hmm. All right. Um, I guess that's, is there anything else you want to talk about for first episode or is that it? Uh, I don't know. That's like the only show I plan on watching too. Uh, I think besides the ones we've already watched, I'm, like depending on like what you guys talk about for like the next shows, um, just let me know if you think I'd actually like, like enjoy or, or want to watch it and then I can look into those. But until then, that's basically my season and then I, I might try to just use this season to catch up to a few shows i know i need to watch the second season yeah, of uh there's still plenty of other in the line. i guess yeah yeah there's like other shows that are gonna air um coming this week but um i guess i'll talk about so that's it for the sports climb girl i guess i'll talk about the shows i've seen so far this season so i'll start with, with um journey of elena uh, Yeah, so I actually really enjoyed this was I thought it was a good first episode. So basically, um just just a story of how um how like this this girl, she's really she she looks up to this other witch that's that's like really famous and that's tra- travel a bunch, so she wants to start her own journey and so she becomes a prodigy at age 14 and just it just starts off with her like trying to find like a master teacher and it took, takes her a while until she finds one. And so, um, just this first episode, just her, it's, it, the whole training part is actually this, this first episode because afterwards, like she, it does like the times, not really time super, but it, it like, it goes to her journey after this first episode. So like overall, like I'd say, I don't know. I had, I had good vibes from it. Um, animation was decent pretty, there's like some, some magic fights, but like, that's just a small part of it. It's mainly just about the main character, Elena. So I really enjoy, um, like, I really enjoy uh, this first episode. I would recommend it. I I recommend a coup. Like, um, if you're planning to watch a coup, uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure you enjoy this too. So far, not much, you know, story. It's more about just enjoying the atmosphere of the main character. So. Yeah, no, I like I said, I'll probably give a lot of shows to watch. I have like 14 or 15 shows <laughs> I, that I plan to watch, and I need to cut that down to half to make my life actually enjoyable, and not not a chore. Um, but I've just been really busy, so yeah. I've had a chance to catch up. So, but I think I think you enjoy it. Yeah, it's very very solid. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like one of the uh, underrated shows of the season because I don't know, like I don't see it talked about as the other like, the other sequels or other big shows. So definitely like an, it's probably. So far, this first episode is really good, and I've people I've heard like good things from the light novel. So, so I really enjoy um, Journey of Elena. So definitely recommend that. Um, and then next one I'll, uh, this, that I watched was um, Warlords of like, I can't I don't know this name like Sig Sigrifa whatever. So this is I feel like this 
This is an original anime, and it's written by the author of ReZero and some other writers, but he's, like, the only one I recognize. Um, basically, it's, like, it's, like, kind of, like, modern day, like, Earth is, like, getting invaded by this, like, I don't know, like, either alien or something called, called Pillars. Like, they have, so this Pillars, like, these aliens are threatening, like, the Earth, and so, and for some reason, like, this god appeared in front of the world, and t in front of the world council, and told them there's, like, these, these chosen people, like, I think they're called names, or whatever, and they're the only ones that have the power to kill, like, these, these alien life forms, and so he just picks, like, these, all these, these different girls to fight for them, and so the main character, she's, she's known as, like, a Valkyrie or whatever, but, like, so she has a special power to kill these alien, th this alien life form, and she gets transferred, transferred to Japan because the Japanese chosen one already died, and so, and they mainly fight using, like, like, it's mainly, like, fire pilots so it's made like like air combat show even though it's like modern even though it's like modern day like for some reason like they have to use like older types of planes like kind of like the world war ii like fire planes and so and so like they're so it's like it's like the main character like her and these three other girls from the japanese base are fighting um so and the first episode was an hour long and i kind of felt like it was dragging on a bit because the main action scene was like at the beginning and then there's like mo many like i guess character development and like talking about the lore in the middle and then like the last part was the, the rest of the action scene so like i just it felt like that middle part was dragging on because it was it was so long being like an hour so i don't know i don't know if i can recommend this to other people it like so far like i'll keep watching see how where it goes but like Cause I know, like some like I know at like, the Reddit thread, they really people really enjoyed it. But I'm more lukewarm. Like I would much rather recommend Journey of Elena than this show. So this is just, like iffy. So I'll probably just like yeah, I'll keep I'll keep tabs on it. But like this first episode wasn't wasn't really that impressive. So that just is my general impression on Warlords of Sig uh, Sigdrifa. And then moving on to uh, the next show I watch is a uh, Talentless Nana. Um, oh, cool. Did you watch this? Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay, it. I forgot, I forgot oh. that you watched. So, we should, we, I should have brought this up earlier because instead of rambling on my two other shows, hey, uh, David, quick question. Um, was the other one, uh, a show that I would be interested in or no? It kind of sounded good. Journey of Elena, yeah. Um, I th you try to just give it a watch, friend, see what you think because okay. it's not like very, it's not very plot heavy wise. It's just you're just mainly following the main girl, so. Ooh, okay. So like maybe maybe it's maybe it's one of those shows you can watch while you eat. Like nothing. Sir, like, I have IQ for that. So just okay, okay. And animation's not that bad. I, I don't I don't know how how animation standard would be for you, Stren. Like nothing really happens the first episode. So but I would I ever I definitely recommend it to Koo. I, maybe you should try episode one, see what you think, Stren. I still what is it mainly? What's the it's genre? Like, fan, like more fantasy, more. I don't know about slice of life because like, it's it's not slice of life. <laughs> it's it's a thriller. Not thriller. This is a thriller. Not this thriller. is a thriller anime. Right because okay, the first episode was just about, <laughs> just about the girl like learning magic. So, and then she's the sex, and then after that she leaves for her her journey. So, I mean it's it's so I, I'd got say, like I'd, mystery. I'd, I'd say fantasy adventure, mainly. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like. It's, it's got like a mystery slash. I mean, this is just the first episode, so I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's got like supernatural abilities. They got some kind of crazy. Um... Wait, are you talking about Talentless Nana or Journey of Lena? Oh no, no, I was talking about Talentless. Yeah, Nana. I was Sorry. talking about Journey of Lena to Stratton. Sorry, uh, I'll, I'll I'll stay out of it. Yeah. So the whole <laughs> thing. Let me know if the I'm whole thing interested. I was saying, cool. I was talking about Journey of Elena. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh... so Sure, and just watch the first episode. I think I think you might enjoy it too. So, so now we're gonna talk about Talentless Nana. Cool. We can go <laughs> right back to. <laughs> so I've been talking it. a lot. So you want to explain the premise of the first episode? Uh, so the first episode. Uh, well, basically this show is about a group of kids that was sent to a special island or a school to train their abilities to fight against the um, monsters that have kind of like invaded earth and is destroying mankind. Uh, and each one of these kids, they have special talents or like super powers in a sense. Um, and that's why they're sent there. 
So this show's main character is a guy who has uh, he's he's supposedly talentless where he doesn't have an ability, but he does, and it's showcased later on what it is. And um, there's another girl. I don't see that's the thing. I don't know who who's the MC at this point. Um, and I don't want to ruin it yet. Okay. Or should, should we? Should we? I don't know. Maybe like, wait until next week. I don't. I, I really want to talk about the plot this. I just I I forget like I don't know. Okay. I feel so, like I think like the way we don't we do it so far is the first episode we've been keeping it kind of rel- avoided, rel- right? relatively spoiler free. So right. eventually people can catch up because giving the first impressions. But then like episode two is like fair game, I would say. Yeah. So, but that's basically the premises of this. And then it turns out that it's not just like it's not a reboot of high uh, high school academia. Um, <laughs> there is a bunch of like serious tones oh, uh, i saw that on the red thread too well, people think that was like a bunch of like knockoff like hair academia stuff <laughs> i mean it, 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 it kind of is in the beginning but that's because they're trying to set like this light mood happy-go-lucky mm-hmm. mood that you know we're all high school students you know we're here to save the world blah blah, blah. uh as right now they're they're determining who the class leader is going to be um and i guess you can kind of uh i forgot what the name of the anime is called the the assassin classroom oh, assassination whatever. classroom yeah, you can kind of like uh, like pick up some similarities between this and that as well. Um, but yeah, without spoiling too much, it it's I feel like it's it's got its own niche as well. Uh, I just that, that makes just it stand like, out from the others. I'll just say just watch the whole episode first, like because it it's, it does sound like very generic at first, but right, yeah, watch the whole episode and then and then um, make up your mind afterwards. So. And this is why, like stuff like the th- like you know the, the three episode rule exists, so that like like you don't get cut off by the first episode. So who gives it six? I'll give it four episodes, and then we'll go from there. Because I've I've been let down by so many of these <laughs> uh, genres, so I'm I'm a little like suspicious about it. Like I'm gonna tread carefully. <laughs> so I'll say that like um I read the manga a long time ago, so. I'll probably know what happens at least through like halfway towards the season. Um, I don't know like how it's gonna end because like the manga has been like running for a while and like yeah, it's it's like um what's the other show? I think it was it was, it was like late near where like I read the manga a while ago and I didn't know how the anime was gonna end either. So I'm curious to see how oh, this okay. anime is gonna end. Yeah, so I'm probably it's gonna be I mean like the same late near situation where I read the manga before the anime was announced. So. Hmm, okay so like so i'll know some things in the beginning but then by the end like it'll be all new to me as well so i'm, I'm curious how this is gonna end yeah um yeah i'd, I'd say give it a shot it's it's it is fairly interesting uh like i said it does start off fairly generic but i think it picks up and actually uh, it kind of ups its identity in i'll say sense. Thren, you should maybe try one try watching this first episode too so, what is this one called? Uh, Talentless Nana. Tal- Talentless Nana. Okay, I will look it up. So, yeah, I think I think maybe Strand would enjoy this too. But so yeah, definitely just give the first episode a shot, and then we'll come back later for episode two. And... Right. Are you just trying to bait me? Is no, it, no, it's just I read the manga. No, it's, so it's pretty good. I, I would recommend you giving it a shot. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll, yeah. try, I'll look it up. No, I'm trying to be genuine here, Strand. Just, just so like. Journey of Elena and Talon's Nana. I, I, you should try the first episode. See what you think. Huh. Psychological supernatural thriller. Hmm. Yeah. That definitely does not sound like me. Okay. Well, don't watch. I'll, I'll, I'll watch the trailer though. I'll watch the trailer. Well, I don't think you're gonna get the full the full story from the trailer. Like you just have to watch the first episode. I'll ask I'll ask Taylor and see if she's up uh, if she's wanting to check it out. All right. Oh my god! All right, well, whatever. I'm just saying, like you nope. have to watch. You have to watch. I'm <laughs> sorry. You have to watch the the full, the full episode, Shen. I'll see. I'll I'll try to find, I'll find a day to to give this a shot. And then uh. Yeah, and then we'll we'll so yeah, we'll we'll keep it like relatively spoiler free for this first week, and then we'll. Uh, next week's fair game we're gonna talk the whole what we'll spoil the shit out of it yeah. yep so was there anything else you want to add in the coup 
Uh, did anyone else watch The Ir Irregular at Magic High School? Season 2? No. I haven't yet because I'm not caught up with the first season. So hopefully I can get caught up by next week. But Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's kind of... It's basically like another version of misfit demon academy so uh it's not for everyone um uh, but it's basically one of those animes where the uh, mc is op as fuck so was this the one that has like the same animation studio as that one as well oh i have no idea i don't no, David, I, you know i think it's like it's like it's like one of those always does light novels so it might be like silver link or one of them or silver link gotcha. or like linden okay. like it's one of the studios that always does um that does uh like those like almost but is that what you you just want to talk about irregular next coup uh no i was just curious because uh like i said it's kind of like misfit academy there's really not much to talk about and it's something like groundbreaking but i just really like the the, the main character and then okay. how they develop him in the story all right i mean um okay well we can we you want to wait till next week then and see if i'm caught up and then we can talk more about irregular season two Yeah, Wait, what, what is it? Is this season two or is this like season three? Season this is season two. two. Yeah. Oh. Season one came out a long okay. time ago. So. Yeah. And There's I also an OVA I... for it. There's a movie for it as well, I believe. Is there? Was, there, was yeah. it a sequel or just like a compilation? Um, I I believe it's... I don't know if it's a sequel or not. It's it's at, I think it, they said it was after season one, but it's before season two. Oh, okay. Well, so in between. Let's look into that then. All right. So, yeah. So I guess so for now that's it for yeah, talentless Nana, and then we'll save next week for um irregular uh, season two. So hopefully I can get caught up, and hopefully if Peter ever gets on, we can get him to talk about it too. So, so that's it for um, those shows, and then um next one I think I have to talk about is uh the one I'm standing on a million lives. I think this one's Stren for sure. God, I'm recommending so much more shows for Stren. But this one... Is this, this, like a joke or what? This one's Isekai. So I'm sure oh. Stren would enjoy it. Um, and it's... I mean, so it's Isekai. So it's like... It's very... It's like what you expect from Isekai. It's just like the guy gets transported. I mean, so the, the, only, it's just, the only different thing here is that like... I guess they go, they go back and forth between the real world and and isekai because um because um because there's like two of his classmates gets isekai too but so the, so the first classmate she has to do the quest first and then she gets back and then she has to recruit another classmate and then those two have to recruit the main character so by the time the main character goes into isekai they already have two party members and of course the main character he gets the farmer class so he looks useless so I don't know if he's gonna like be OP later or not, but right now he's he's the farmer class. He basically his skills his skills info just says he does like fifty percent less damage unless it's it's against, it's against plants. So that's all up, and his only weapons is a sickle and a hole. So, so that's that's the only. So, and the only other thing is that like um, I uh, was it? if like um. If you die, you can you you revive in thirty seconds. But if all the party members die, then you all die in real life too. And so the way they've been doing it is that like just been having two people die and then have one person just keep their revive, just make like keeping them like revive. But now it's like um, the main. I kind of want to watch this show. I'm gonna like, put it on my list. Like the main um the main problem right now is that like is like uh one of the girls is like. Oh, they're also all really weak too. Like even though like one of the girls is a witch and the other girl is like a warrior, they're all really weak. And the other guy is the only one that has like enough courage, but he's a farmer. So he's right now he's 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 playing, he's trying he's pulling a Peter and he's trying to hunt he's trying to grind boars in the forest as, oh, a, boy. as a farmer. Oh, yeah, because he, he's a farmer. He's level one, and so and right now like um one of the girls she got eaten, and I guess like something that caused interference, which she can't revive. And like the other girl, like got her her arm eaten, and it's, that doesn't like revive her either. So, so it's basically like the mate, the guy is the only one that can do anything, and he's level one. And they have to you have to finish oh, this quest in fourteen days. I might skip this show. We'll so, see. I think you would like it. So okay, all right. Well, so we'll see. It sounds I'll like a, it sounds like up. your standard isekai, although it's a little more 
they're adding a little more serious and it's a little more um i feel like there's more stakes in this one and i think also this is originally a manga and actually i try to trust those more than the light novel isekais because light novel ones always come from the web novels which always has like like the, the, the questionable writing where it's like they usually make up as they go along so hope i'm hoping i mean it's isekai so i don't expect much but i think it'd be better than your standard isekai even though it's a low bar so so i'm still i think you would like it stren so <laughs> again another one to give a shot but i'm giving you so much yeah, recommendation. Oh, i'm strange. just giving you so much recommendation Stren. you don't have to follow all of them this is a oh, lot God. yeah I'll, uh, I'll probably i watched the trailer of like both of those kind of recommendations so far they, they don't that second that hundred that uh hundred man uh a million lives th- or, yeah, million lives. That one looked more interesting, though, <laughs> to me. But then I, I think then it's, I like it's kind of trash. It's, so. it's, it's, it's Isekai, so it's like part up more your alley. Hey, fits perfectly. But like the guy's not OP, so we'll have to see what happens. Which is fine. I mean, it's like like uh, they can actually like, kind of drag things out more, like in that sense. Because like if it's like it's again, it's OP. It's just like there's really not like that tension. Yeah. So we'll um, see what happens. So I guess that's that's just my little like little just general impressions of standing on a million lives. And the last one I'll just mention is um is Tony Kawa Kawaii, um or Tony Kaku Kawaii, and the, the, the I guess the English term I use is Tony Kawa. So this is by the author of Hayate a Combat Butler. Um, basically, it's just like the main guy just gets I mean he finds this girl he really likes and she saves him from a, like a truck accident. <laughs> And so, and he asked her to marry, and then basically the whole, like, the rest of the episode is that, like, he, like, because he got in that car, that, that truck accident, like, he couldn't, like, finish the exams, and then he just, like, just starts working. Like, he didn't go to high school, he just, just worked all the time, and then when he turns 18, like, the girl shows up again, and then they finally get married. And that's just basically the first episode, was them just, like, just setting up that he's basically gonna get married. And I read, this was, I read the manga here, too. And basically, the whole the whole manga is just them in their married life, just like yeah, no like no drama, no harm or anything, just them just being married. So, I feel like I'm gonna get triggered because they're showing happiness that I would never. It's very it. happy and wholesome. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, and no fan service either. So it's just it's just them. No being fan married. It's just them being get married. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure there's no fan service. I it's like it's very wholesome. So. And people on the Reddit were saying too how like how um, it's pretty much like the author just like showing off to everyone how happy he is of his marriage life, and so he just put it in like manga form. Marriage is a sham. Happy so, life. It's a sham. So this is just this is a wholesome, just more of a wholesome show. So I don't have much to say, but I don't know if I'm gonna talk, talk much about this this season. It's just it's kind of like Uzaki Chan from last season. It's just like wholesome, just chill, nothing really going on. So. so it feels good slice of life, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah. Hey, you gotta have one of those like every season. Yeah. You you really do, dude. Like to be honest, yeah. maybe it's just the, the old man talking, but sometimes work just beats you down, and you need a little pick me up. <laughs> yeah, very wholesome. Yep. And that's I think that's gonna be it. We've gone a lot long enough for this episode, and we, there's still it's more. A little much longer than normal. Yeah. There's more. Actually, oh, we, we we were gonna talk about burn the witch, but Stren didn't finish all of them. That's so okay. We'll save we, that, save I mean, it for this, next week. This has been long enough, so yeah. we'll save it for next. Save that. Uh, save for Friday. Friday. We'll save Burn the Witch for next week, and then um, we have some. There's some more shows coming out this week. I'm planning to watch. Um, was it like, uh, the day I became God and the the Last Crusade one, and there's plenty of other shows that these guys are watching too. So. Yeah, we can save yeah. it for next Friday though. Yeah. I feel like we need to cut it down to like eight or something. That's that's too many. I can cut out we'll like out. I can cut out like definitely twenty cut. Uh, Tony Kawa and probably Drifia. I probably cut that out. If no one else watching. I don't feel like I don't need to talk about that. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we can figure that. Out. Also, um, we will be actually you know streaming this and recording on Fridays from now on. Oh as yeah, well. we were supposed to do that last week, but because my dinner plans went too fucking long, like I came back too late. So complications due to COVID. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So so. Going forward, we should be recording on Friday. I have it in a schedule too on the Twitch channel that we are rec- we gotta start recording on Fridays. So hopefully we get well. I have nothing planned for this Friday, so we'll hopefully get that through. 
And Friday, we also have other members as well, too, yeah. that uh, they ended up changing jobs and they weren't able to meet us anymore yeah. on Sundays. So hopefully they'll be able hopefully to join Brian. as well. I'm hoping Peter can join. Um, also, uh, Peter said... One Piece talk back. Hopefully. Peter said he's caught yes. up One Piece yeah. now, too. So hopefully there's your motivation. Okay, man. I'm like 900 episodes behind, so... You can get on top of that. <laughs> hey, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. So so that's going to be on Friday, so... Busy week, um, start of the season, very exciting. So we'll see how the season goes. And also, yeah, keep in mind, I, uh, Attack on Titan comes out in December, so it's gonna be like, like two, so, like two thirds of the randomly like, thrown in, yeah, yeah two thirds of the season oh, yeah. just to randomly just come <laughs> out. So we're gonna throw that into when it comes out. That'll Your probably be like top of our baby. That'll probably be like our new like uh, like when that happens, that'll probably be like our first show we talk about because it's like, I mean, how do you not? Uh, well, not everybody. Not, not, not everyone's gonna be talking about it, so. But that's fine. But people are, I think it's the people big who are, are gonna up. be very excited. Yeah, unless t- unless Taylor requests it to be at the end because it's just a terrible show. It's not gonna be terrible. I I'm got kidding. you guys. I'm, I'm completely kidding. No. Aaron's mom come back as a titan. Oh. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure after episode one, I think that uh, I think we can squish that theory. No, no, it's possible. Everything's possible in anime. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Just but... like God of High School showed us. We didn't go there. <laughs> Sorry, one more stab. That's because. Well, actually, unless, unless Brian wants to talk about God of High School next time, this should be. I think... Dude, I would love to hear his opinion. Okay, if he we'll... defends it anyway, whatsoever. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get Brian gonna, to talk about God of High School. We're going to shit on him so hard. I mean, Brian, still please come on, but we're going to shit on you so hard if you defend it. <laughs> I don't see where, like, what merit you have. Honestly. Yeah, Brian. let's just say right. in this argument, he is like the little kids in Hygema Industries, and we're Gary the Sandclaw. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's that's cruel. Oh, oh, well, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for making us famous. We are gonna go fly in our private <laughs> jet now. Yes. So that's gonna be it for this week. I wanna I wanna thank the audience for being with us this week. Thanks to everyone in chat. We had a lot of people yeah, in chat. chat. Thank you for uh, well, thank you Apollo Reset yeah. for the follow as well. Yeah, sorry we don't like talk as often. We have we're focused on recording the podcast for the YouTube and our audio version, so we'll try to type in chat. We don't um, during this this editing part is the best time to actually like talk like live, but usually we just type in chat because we have to focus on recording the podcast. So, but we thank, do what we can. Yeah, but thanks for everyone who was with us in chat. Thanks, Johan. I know you're still in here and. Yeah. Oh, oh, Johan, muchas gracias por escucharnos. Vas a ver más. Vas a ver. Yes. Yes, thanks, Johan. Also, yeah. oh, and even yeah, Yelling is coming said. on Blu ray 2021, Johan. So get ready for that. Yeah, that, that's the part you missed. Yeah, so get ready for that. Yeah. Demon Slayer, October, Japan will be there. Yeah, yeah. We're all fly <laughs> to Japan to watch Demon Slayer movie. Uh, and then yeah. just want to uh, thank the panel for joining me this week. Thanks, guys. Super long episode, I know. So thanks for <laughs> being with us. No problem. Yeah. Yep. Love had, you guys. Had a lot of fun. It's fun time. Love you too, man. Yeah. And then that's going to be it for this week's episode. So we'll see you on Friday this week. So bye for now. Yeah. See you. I'm out like a bear in Golden Bye. Yeah.